Welcome back to another episode of BTE TV, and today we got on Cracker Rob. <laughs> <laughs> White Rob. What up? Shit, what up with you? My shit, just chilling like a villain, baby. How you feeling? How you feeling? Good. Been drinking. Drinking. You, you been drinking already today? Hell yeah. As soon as I get up. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. That's the life to live. What so time I'm, you wake up, though? Shit, about... I don't know. It's actually afternoon. So yeah, you, I mean, you was late like, getting yeah. here. You yeah. know, we had us sitting for like a couple 50 hours. 50 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, waiting on you 50 yeah. minutes, bro. So what's good with y'all today? What's you good with going, you, Ricky? Why we have to wait 50 minutes for you? Oh, uh, because uh, I had to pick up my home. We Tay. Tell him what's up, Tay. Mm -mm. Tay's not all talking, bro. Oh, Tay's not all talking. <laughs> you know, whenever y'all was on y'all's way up here, I told Greg that you guys was like together. <laughs> oh, this mother. <laughs> y'all ain't talking shit. Hell nah. Greg oh. really believed it too. He thought y'all was like scissors. I'm trying to shit. get, hey, bro. I'm trying to get rid of a woman. And <laughs> hey, anybody want her out there, bro? I have her. You just gonna give her away? Hell yeah. Why would you do that? She's crazy as hell. They all are, though. Nah, yeah. not like this. She get a check for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So does this old lady. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, speak on that thing because you know where I'm coming from. That shit uh, crazy. What's she doing, man? What's she, what's she up to? What, what's she up to? Yeah. What's she she at the house hanging out with some little kid. But yeah. I'm saying what's her crazy shit she's doing. All her crazy issues? Man, I could go on for days on this shit. All right. First off, she does this finger power shit. She's scared of the Amish. <laughs> what? And I swear to God, Wait, What's bro, finger power? Finger power is like where she pokes her phone like this. And it's not she ain't got no service. The shit won't even be on, bro. she would be like, pop, 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 pop. Just fucking and up. It, yeah, and she'd be like, snapping her fingers in there and shit. Like, rrr, 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 and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm back here in my fucking room, bro. I'm like, because we don't sleep together and shit. But I'm like, bitch, can you please shut the fuck up? But it don't happen. She keep on continuing, so. What's she scared of the Amish for? I don't know, because my nephew, Preston, he went out there, bro, and fucking got sent off and shit for fucking robbing cars and and she's seen an Amish person out there, and fucking from then on, I guess the Amish are gonna be out. Oh, so she's it. actually crazy. Oh, I'm talking about. But so gone. what? So what happened though? Because Penny used to not be like that. I don't fucking know. Back when Rob was a kid, because we, you know, why Rob lived right like what? We, yeah, this, like a couple, couple houses. Door, yeah, a couple yeah, doors couple down from us. And shit. And because uh, we was we was in the same building, 2009. I was in apartment B. What was you in? Uh, 2009. What I mean, what, what? Apartment G. Apartment G. So I was in B. He was in G. So literally, we was just a couple cubby holes down, and Penny was normal. Rob's always been an alcoholic. Rob. Yeah, <laughs> Rob was being yeah. Rob. Rob's always been drunk. Uh, yeah, buddy. But Penny was normal. That's what I said. And uh, bitch has never been normal, bro. You didn't see this shit behind closed doors. I though. mean, I know she'd yell at you and beat you up and shit, but I know that's fucked up. I got <laughs> abused. Hey, can I say something out here to all the fellow men out there, bro? Why is it that there's always a women's bat on the shoulder? Why ain't they a men's battered shelter? Because bitches be beating on dudes, too. I Just saying. Heard. Yeah, I agree with that. Or is that what you're pushing for? Is a men's bat I'm battered? saying help. You need help? <laughs> help. <laughs> How long you been with her? Shit, 21 years, bro. You knew she was crazy this whole time, and you yeah, just now trying to get rid of we're not together, bro. We're not together. Like, all right, I went to Florida. Let me tell you. You want to hear a story? I'll Hell give yeah. you a story. So, me and my uh, nephew, D'Angelo, bro, I've been to Florida, like, this last summer, well, the last summer of Florida, when, last summer, anyways, not this summer, last summer, me and D go everywhere together, bro, that's my nephew, right, so, me and D, we had the Florida, bro, these fat bitches take his, am I allowed to say that, fat bitches? Yeah. All right, <laughs> these fat bitches, these fat bitches took us to Florida and shit, I had to pay for shit. They're like, you don't have to sleep on the floor. I'm like, I didn't want to go, but I was like, fuck it. D was like begging me. I'm like, fuck it, I'll go. So I sleep on the motherfucking floor and shit, whatever. The ride up there, bro, you can smell the tires fucking melting, bro, from fucking where these fucking heavy ass bitches <laughs> in the back. Bro. God damn. I swear to God, you can smell the burning. We made it there, though. We had to buy tires when we got down there, though. I swear <laughs> to God we did. Because the bitches were so heavy? Yeah, hell yeah. I too fat <laughs> bitch. But you know what? They comfortable. I slept on both them bitches. I was like this. <laughs> Sleeping on them and shit. But so we get there. I didn't sleep one night in that motherfucking hotel room. Not one motherfucking night. And 
but I kind of lost train of thought. <laughs> you but was sleeping on big bitches. Y'all made it down there. Baby. Had to get tired. I get down there, so I meet this bitch, bro. Her name's Amy. Yeah. Fuck you, bitch. If you <laughs> ever get to see this, fuck you, you dirty ass hoe. Fuck you and your family. Give a fuck. They ran a background check on me and everything because I was fucking with her daughter. Yeah. That's a fucking her mama worked for the police and shit. Oh, was she? Huh? Oh, she was fucking older than me. She was like a year older than me. And her parents were worried about you like that? Yeah, yeah. I, if I, I don't give but a fuck out what I was. Is, this bitch is cashing like fucking dirty checks and shit. She's on her whole shit. But anyways, you got her doing that little shit? So anyways, I get up there. I meet this one bitch. I sleep in her room that night. And we was only down there for like four days. So I stayed like two nights in that room with this other bitch. And then I meet Amy. And she was a cool chick, bro. She really was. She's a down ass bitch. So why'd you just say fuck her and fuck her family then? Cause I can't stand that bitch. <laughs> this bitch stole a car, bro, and came down to my house, bro. So I had Penny in the front room and <laughs> this bitch in the back. And then bitches become friends. I'm like, hell no, nah, this ain't good. You don't like that little shit? Hell no. Nah. I'd try to get a threesome out I, of it. I was thinking that shit. Honestly, I was really thinking that shit. But I was like, damn, she might be trying to steal Penny. <laughs> bitch is that crazy, bro? She still a car. I'm like, nah, bitch, you got to go. So I take her back to Florida, bro. She's beating on me the whole way there because I was dropping her ass off. I was like, you got to bounce. She had to go. You like that little shit, though? You like them little crazy bitches? Man, I can't find nothing but crazy bitches. It's not that I like them. It's just like I can't find nothing but crazy ass hoes. Do you think that it might be like a problem within yourself that you're finding? <laughs> it could be. Yeah. It could be. <laughs> you're the common denominator in yeah. this. Yeah. Hey, let me get a cigarette, big bro. Come on. Yes, Master Rob. No, no, it's not like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell no. Damn. The racism in here is wild. Got to like. So let's talk about Ricky, man. What's up? What's up? What's up with the uh, bike, man? What you been doing with that? My motorcycle? Yeah. My motorcycle? I see it out there. Shit, shit. I was supposed to be in Tennessee right now. I ain't going to lie to you. I hoed out a little bit. You know what I mean? Got scared. They wanted to take off from my brother's work, drive down to Tennessee on the bikes, and it was raining. It was nighttime. And you got scared? I think I didn't. And I was hungover. I got drunk the night before, so Friday night I got drunk. We were supposed to be Saturday. He was supposed to come over, didn't come. Thanks, smarter than I get super fucked up, right? I'm talking about drink this whole half gallon. Um... Oh, this is this is the night. This is the night. Okay. This is the night all the shit's going on. Yeah. So then I get super fucked up. Um, for some reason, a half gallon. Yeah, I drank a whole half gallon, <laughs> and then for some reason I thought, well, I'm not drunk enough. You know what I mean? Yeah, bullshit. So I started taking those tall boys, started bonging them, Stupid. one after another, kept on, kept on, kept on. I don't even drink beer, right? Yeah. At this point, I knew I was fucked up, but I was like, man, I'm still just not drunk enough. Right. Well, eventually I was like, it's like five, six in the morning. I'm like, I'm going to go back to my room, lay down. I'm laying on my back. I'm asleep. Next thing you know, I, I wake up and I'm choking. <laughs> I'm puking. Oh, shit. <laughs> I've never in my life. Bro, you're ever. lucky to be alive. Listen, I've never in my People life. People do die like yeah, that. I've I never, know. Listen, I've never in my life had that happen. So I was, I was like, <laughs> and I realized I was choking. Bro, you got I an angel turned, on your shoulder. Turned my head this way. The puke just started coming out. I set up. Whenever I set up, bro, I'm just <clears throat> puking all over my floor, all over my bedroom floor. You going to drink another half Willie gallon? and them come in there try to come help me because Willie was here. Thank God Willie was here. They yeah, come in there try God. to help me. And uh, I've never been I, yeah, I've never been so fucked up that <laughs> died. that's happened. I've never puked in my sleep. I've never, uh, I've never been able, you know, every time I puke, I'm able to make it to the garbage can or outside, where, whatever I'm doing. I've never been that fucked up. So <laughs> you pissed the bed? Nah, I didn't piss the bed. I puked the bed though. <laughs> you know what I mean? um, surprised I didn't shit the bed the way I was choking. I woke up like this. <laughs> like you know what I mean like I was gargling hey, it. Dude, I was no, no, a lot it's not too. funny, bro. I'm glad you're still here, bro. Because that's yeah. shit, you no act, joke. Like you actually can die from that. Yeah, yeah no. you do die from that's that. how my homeboy passed away. Well, I always God, say, that's so I always say I've always wanted hurt. to get uh, alcohol poison. I've always wanted to get to the point where I was just so fucked up, and it happened the other night. Oh, I think you've had alcohol poisoning before. He, he my yeah. homeboy was on that fatty, bro. And well, like, that's not the same. Yeah, I know, but he puked, <laughs> he puked in his sleep and he choked on it. Like, yeah, that's how a lot of motherfuckers die. Yeah, I mean that's not the same. We was talking about you ain't drinking. Yeah, drinking. Good time, yeah, well, you need to calm down, chugging fucking whole bottles of shit. 
I mean, it's like drinking a fifth. No, it's not. I could drink a fifth, bro. My fucking no, eyes I'm talking about he chugged it. Hey, D, bro, I'm going to tell you a story. D, we're in Florida, bro. We're at the pool and shit. This motherfucker, he had a bottle of Tito, a whole fifth of Tito's. And I'm like, hey, let me get a <coughs> shot, little bro. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, fuck that. Go. He didn't even breathe, bro. He didn't even take a fucking breath, bro. Down that motherfucker, bro, completely. Down the whole fucking thing. Didn't stop to drink some more. Just downed it completely. And I was like, I've never seen it. I was amazed. I was like, what the fuck? I've seen some country boys. I said, I guess I'm babysitting the night. This nigga go up there and say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This mo this mofo go up there, right? He go up there and, like, he uh, sleeps for, like, a half hour, comes back out. He's good. He's good, bro. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, how is, bro, and he, we went to the clubs. We, you know, we kicked it. We had fun, and it wasn't until the next day that shit kicked in. What? I swear to God, he was fucking staggering. We had to take him to the hospital, fucking all kinds of shit. Yeah, bro, Florida hospitals are slow. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting out there, bro, in the parking lot because the two fat bitches that would, took us up there, they fucking took him in the hospital and shit. So me and Christian, his brother, my other nephew, we are sitting out in the parking lot. Bro, we're sitting there walking around. I'm talking to Penny on the phone. And he's talking to his dad on the phone because he's trying to get gambling money and shit. That nigga's a bitch. <laughs> that motherfucker's a bitch old gambler. And, like, he bets on anything. If it's a cat walking across, the two cats, he like, which one do you think makes it across the street fastest? He'll bet on anything. He's a bitch old gambler. It's bad. Does he make money, though? I, I don't think so because he's always asking people for money. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. like. Yeah, it sounds like he's down bad. Then, a, uh, he's not a yeah, good gambler. Like, you yeah. might want to find another habit, like pick up crack or something. I don't God know, damn. You know what yeah, I mean? flat out. You yeah, mean? flat out. Uh, So, Rob, listen. Yeah, but. How long have I known you? I've known you for a long time, huh? Shit, I've known you since you was like 12 years old. Yeah, I've known you for a long time. Yeah. You remember Greg back in the day? Yeah, he was a DD. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yup. Yeah. Yup. Yep. Little babies and everything. Which well, you got beautiful kids too, by the way. I appreciate it, man. You do, man. Appreciate it. You yeah. do. You remember White Rob back then? Yeah. I, I remember him walking time. around, walking around the hills all the time. Yeah. yeah. My squad, baby. We had you. Listen, we used to go up there Black and play basketball. Rob, yeah. White Rob. Yeah, you landed on me. You and Robert, bro, and you dislocated my <laughs> shoulder, broke my arm in three hey, places. I used to get down on the basketball court, <laughs> yeah, didn't I? Did. Bro. <laughs> I was out there, bro, on the basketball court. I swear to God, I was a menace on the basketball court. Bro, him court. and Robert landed on me, bro, and fucked my shit up, bro. <laughs> Broke my arm, dislocated my shoulder, which my arm and shit, I got, they casted me up. And then, like, <laughs> I let my, I didn't know my shoulder, because SOMC sucks, by the way. Anybody goes to SOMC, hey, if you have babies, that's a good place to go. Anything else, fuck them. But, uh, yeah, so these motherfuckers land on me. It's like a quarter ton between. <laughs> yeah, right. It's like a quarter ton. But I was like 12 <laughs> watching it. It don't matter. Anyway, it's like a quarter ton laying on me, bro. And I get my shit fixed up, bro, my arm and shit. But every time I sit down, bro, it's like my ass is on fire, bro, all the way up my neck. Thank you, Ricky, by the way. And um, I was like, F And I thought everybody thought I was just faking it and shit. Because when I got up, I could walk. I was good. But when I sit down, I couldn't even move my neck. But for real, they, they fucked me up, bro. Oh, God, they fucked me up. So I go to, uh, uh, was it UC Hospital? No, it was Columbus. It was Columbus, my bad. And I go to the sports center and shit, all that. And I had to wait on Evan Turner, bro, for real. Oh, God, I had to wait on Evan Turner from Ohio State to get his back fixed before I could get my surgery. Because the same doctor that was doing Evan Turner's was doing my surgery. And it made me feel so good, though, when he's like, bro, you've had, how long have you been going through this? <laughs> I was like, nine and a half months. He's like, Jesus Christ. Bro, I was in pain. <laughs> if I took it like a champ, though, you know what I mean? I did. I ate it. And, fucking, man, instantly, it was bone on bone is what it was. It grew back bone on bone from, like, you, you and your brother. <laughs> yeah, Robert, if you ever get to see this, fuck you, too. You fuck me up. Yeah, I love man. you, though, brother. But so, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, no, go ahead, spit it out. So, if you, if you, besides all that, besides you trying to blame us for you, <laughs> you having a weak body, you, you know, but maybe if you drank milk and not alcohol. Bro, you look know, at you, look at me. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe you can. Oh, you talking about the calcium and shit? Yeah. No, all right. You down bad, bro. Hey, I'm vegan. Huh? I'm vegan. Are you? Nah, hell no. I was about to say, I don't think you should shit, be a vegan and alcoholic. That'd be fucking shit, sucks. You got me fucked up. I, about to say I do like salad, though. Fuck that. I mean, everybody likes salad. I hope everybody. You like salad? Yeah. I'm about to say, I love I, it. I think That's everybody. It. I enjoy salad. What kind of salad do you like? Um, shit. Just like a regular, uh, what are those called? Like a Caesar? Caesar salad. I like yeah. Caesar salads too, man. I like the antipasto I like the dressing. I don't like antipasto salads. I like uh, antipasto. I love fucking uh, pasta salads, bro. Anything pasta, I love. Mm -hmm. It's carbs, it's all that shit. Fills you up. You got some shit to take home. So you was around me a lot as like a little young child. Oh, you was a problem child. You think oh, I was actually bad? Hey, y'all want to hear something funny? The first time I met this motherfucker, right? I can't say the N word, so I said motherfucker. Yeah. All right. Thanks. So, <laughs> facts. So, look, first time I met this motherfucker, right? I love Ricky to death, bro. I got to put that on blast. First off, bro, props to Ricky, man. I'm proud of everything he's doing. And uh, I love his family. Love his brother, Robert. Shout out to everybody out there. But still, this motherfucker comes up to my house. And he's like, Rob. I don't even know this cat really like that. It's like, can I come in your house? He just beat up his pops. And then I, I'm sitting, I, I'm just sitting on the porch, bro, with a coffee, bro, smoking a cigarette, getting ready to crack my beer open. And this mother <laughs> comes up, said, can I get in your house real quick? I'm like, yeah, bro, go ahead, go in. And then here comes Pudge with a fucking aluminum baseball bat. <laughs> 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 oh, God, bro, he coming down. I was like, now, Pudge? Because <laughs> I knew Pudge a little better than I knew Ricky. But that, like, honest to God, Pudge was, like, trying to get at Ricky because Ricky his dad up but he deserved it what, what put, did he do to you ricky i don't even remember i don't i mean my dad used to fight so bad bro. <laughs> I, know, bro. They, they, I don't even know why bro it was like they would never fight with robert mom and dad wouldn't robert was a good they kid would, robert was the golden child yeah they still love ricky, him. Ricky, and they still a, love him more than me and it's crazy because like <laughs> i'm like so much nicer let to me see your lighter bro yeah they fucking, uh i don't know bro uh they've sat They've stabbed me and everything. I don't know what the problem is with me, dude. They got they got some internal beef with the kid. Hey, you know what I mean? I know that's right. Hey, look. So his parents got raided one day, right? And Timberlake, all right, Timberlake and Justice is in there. Ricky comes in, bro. <laughs> He's like, "Mom, I'm hungry." Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, so they they just they just raided us. They took all my mom's pills, all my mom's money. And, uh, it wasn't was, a little bit, nigga. It was a lot. And I was all like, uh, I told him, I was all like, I was like, man, I'm about to go to boxing. I was like, I was like, I need some money. You know what I mean to get me? Stuff you know, you boxing. still owe me ten dollars on that because yeah. I gave you a ride and you never paid me. Talk it. <laughs> yeah. I How many years right. ago was that? Yeah, like it's 20. been like twenty years ago, pretty much. <laughs> but like, um, anyways, though, we was getting raided, and I remember I went in and I was like, boom, boom. Uh, <laughs> he said, I'm hungry. I was like, man, I need some shit for boxing. He pulled out my mom's wad of money, bro. Gave him cash. Started going through it. <laughs> gave me some money. Shut the wad back. Opened it back up. Gave me some more money. Said, whatever you don't get, I'm keeping. <laughs> oh, God. And then whenever they wrote down what they what they, uh, what they got, they what, confiscated, it out. what they confiscated from my parents, they didn't write down they got no money. Mm. And they only wrote down they got nine uh, nine thirties at the time. My mom had they Bro, they just did a uh, Florida trip, so they come back with all them 30s. Hey, that's the portion of police for you. Bro, how crazy is that? Hey, come to P Town, bro. You come hey, you come down here for vacation, you leave on probation. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Nobody's coming here for a vacation. I well, don't I, think. some people do, bro. Nah, for real. Some people been coming here for vacations. For I think what? that shit's freaky. I don't know what they're doing. They want the ghetto experience. And people oh, yeah, that's a good reason to come here. Like yeah. it's like I wanna see the hood. Probably like, not white gonna folk die. Come down here like I wanna see the hood. Yeah. yeah. Well, I I've always thought it was Bro, cool. we showed you hood. Yeah, I, I I think I've always thought it was cool that like we had two different sets of hoods. You know what I mean? Well, we actually had three. We had like the East Enders. Yeah. You had the Ville, which were the black people. Then you had the, the white ghetto people in up Wayne in Wayne Hills. Hills. <laughs> you know what I mean? That shit is actually pretty lit. You know what I mean? And everybody got along. Yeah. yeah uh, stuck, wait, we well, for the Wayne. most part, Wayne Hills and the Ville used to fight. Well, not Wayne Hills and the Ville. Wayne Hills and the East End used to oh, fight. Oh, you was fighting everybody. But I don't give a remember the uh, the fights that the, you know, the East End would come up there and fight Wayne Hills? You remember those? Jesse Matt. Loper and all them. Yeah, Jesse, yeah. Matt and all them. Yeah, bro, that shit was so fucking lit. I remember I was a little kid watching out the top window. I was like, fuck, like eight or I nine. I want to get out there now. Yeah. No, no, hell no, I didn't. They was out there tasting each other. <laughs> they was out there. They was fucking each other up, bro. There was like 50 on 50, bro. Girls were fighting guys, motherfucking. 
it was bro, it was no, crazy. it was free for all. Yeah, everybody was, was out there banging, bro. If he was out there. I was, was a little kid it. watching. I was like, you oh, might, yeah, fuck. you might be watching and just get hit. Yeah, <laughs> for I, no that, that was before y'all moved in Wayne Hills, because like I said, I was like eight at the time. But oh shit, I don't even know if y'all ever got experience the, bro. The, 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 we had a riot out there, bro, because Ant Man and um, was it Jimmy Harding? Oh, you're talking talking, we had a football game out there. Whenever bro. Matt certified, yeah, and yeah, Matt started, yeah. yeah, and like I seen Kevin get tossed, bro. Kevin got tossed in a brick wall by your house, man, hard, bro. Like slammed up against it, like. Bro, they, used, they, seen, bro they used to get down out there, bro. Hey, the hood, and, and it would start, hood. it would start over the weirdest things too, and like, and it'd be <laughs> quick too. It'd be <laughs> quick. It'd be mid football game. Two yes. people be fighting. Next thing you know, forty cars rolling up. You know what I mean? Yep. And that's that's usually how I remember uh, Matt and Jimmy got in a fight one time, and uh, they was out there and it was a it was a good even fight, but Jimmy had on like some some gloves, and whenever he punched Matt, it like got split, rest his soul by the way, it split Matt's eye and swelled his eye up like instantly, but it was like an even fight. You understand what I'm saying? So Matt's getting ready to walk in his house when and he saw this in the screen door he saw his reflection and all you heard was I remember I was standing there bro I was a little kid all you heard was that and he come back out they just started fighting again bro <laughs> and bro everybody's out there banging bro that cat was so crazy man bro, like you, you I'm remember, uh you remember the time that uh that chuckles uh got beat up at black robs right yeah and uh oh i was there for that yeah i was chuckles, actually there for that <coughs> that was uh um, and look and then um uh, the dude's dead now i think yeah chuckles is definitely dead yeah but i'm talking about the other dude's dead too <laughs> that nigga uh, dead. but uh so i remember we ran to the top of the hill because everybody that. was sorry up Everybody was looking for the guy that just beat up Chuckles. They went in there and robbed him, blah, blah. Well, uh, I remember we got to the top of the hill, and there's like 50 of us, and there's like a couple dudes up there. And I remember that that guy wanted to fight me out of everybody. There was a bunch of grown men, but he wanted to fight me, and I'm only like <laughs> 12. Oh, that was when, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the, then, whole, yeah. the whole hood and dude, came yeah, out. Yeah, dude kept on squaring up with me, and I was like, fuck it, I mean, I know I'm like, not getting my ass. Well, we got 50 motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Matt looked at dude. Matt was standing next to him. He was who all like, that? he said, that's my little brother. He was like, take your Denny, eyes off me. It's Denny. Uh, no, I don't, I don't think his name was Denny. I don't remember what it was. I knew who he was. But bro. Matt was like this. Matt said, uh, you take your eyes off. He said, that's my little brother. Don't take, take your my eyes, eyes off, me. off me. Don't take my eyes off me. He, he said, don't take your eyes off me. That's my little brother. And dude look, looked at Matt, put his hands down, looked back said, at me, squared back up. I seen his up. dentures go flying, Matt bro. Matt hit that motherfucker with one of the meanest punches they I ever saw. He just Boom, got him. He broke that dude's dentures in half. In half, bro. Dude's dentures went flying. Dude's ass hit the ground. You heard you heard uh, bottle of pills shaking his pocket. Air cow yelled. <laughs> nah, for Air cow yelled, get, get him. him. And bro, bro they, they ran up in Oasis. Him. Yeah, they ran, ran up in Oasis. Oasis. Black Rob pulled bro. up and yeah. shit. Black Rob ran. He yeah. ran. He got, bro, uh, just got off from Giovanni's. Giovanni's. Yeah. Yep, Giovanni's, bro. Bro, that shit. We that used shit was to. crazy, bro. We had, we had a lick, bro. But we took care of our own, bro. If you was family, bro, you was family. That shit used to be the wildest shit ever. I used to love that. It was show. Wild Wild West, bro. Oh, yeah. God, it was, man. Like, we, we really did big things, bro. We tried to clean up the hills. You know what I mean? Like, I even told Junkie. Do, do you remember the time that we was all up in the woods when we was little kids? Oh, them two gay dudes. <laughs> yeah, bro. Twin dudes. Me and Robert ran up here. Dude pulled out a knife. I was like, shit, I got a knife too. Yeah, bro. They're, they was two gay guys. They was like bro, twin brothers. Real. We're sitting between oh, each God. other's legs. I think they was trying to like lure me and a couple of my friends in. You and in. Austin. Yeah, me you and Austin right up. They right was trying out, to lure yeah. us in to get us, bro. And they was two gay guys, bro. They come and running they was down. Brothers? No, they come running they down. They like brothers. They looked alike. They come running down off the hill, bro, because they was out in the woods and shit. They come running off the hill talking about these dudes and shit. So me and Robert, I'm out in the stoop. He runs down there. I didn't even know anything about it till they. And Robert's like, I guess there's some dudes up there trying to. Fuck. And I'm like, fuck that. So me and Robert's like, we got this. These motherfuckers, bro. Like one dude sitting Indian style, and his brother sitting in his lap. They're identical <laughs> twins. You cannot make this shit up, bro. I swear to God, you cannot make this shit up. They're sitting in a fucking like he's Indian style, and got his arms around his brother and shit. And they both got the same type of haircut, same type of fucking look, because they're identical. I mean, identical. And nigga pulled out a knife, like a bowie knife, like a big-ass knife. I was like, Robert had a knife, I had a knife, too. I was like, shit, they didn't stop making knives when they made yours, motherfucker. Hey, I told y'all, them Wayne Hills, uh, it's woods crazy. was something different, bro. Yeah. It was something different. Like, you going up there, it's like some wrong turn shit. Yeah, because you, you had Love Rock up there and yeah. shit. I think, I think they was trying to get us over to Love Rock with them. <laughs> Yeah, they trying to be. I looked at Austin. I, I like said, like go see what they boy. want. I said, let's go see what they want. Go see what they're about, bro. Yeah, I wasn't going. Uh, Hell no, I ran straight down. You feel me? Hey, uh, but yeah, bro, we used to have a good ass time though. Man, it was man the barbecues, the leashes, yeah. everybody, bro. 
Wayne Hills was a good time. I feel like Wayne Hills calmed down a lot by the time I got there. Yeah, I mean, like, well, you didn't, you didn't really, you didn't like, you wasn't out though. Man, we had out every day. Down you wasn't out like I, I, I didn't have a job or nothing while I lived in. But you Hills. wasn't. I, I had my phone tag. Whenever I was, I'm talking about when I was young like that, bro. I never saw you out. I wasn't there. there. Yeah, I didn't when, get. When did you move there? I didn't move to Wayne Hills, so I was like. <coughs> Man, we was breaking up keys next door to my house, bro. For real, bro. I oh, remember God. we used to. Man, we used to get down out there. We just had fun. We played football and shit. Yeah. But you was over there hanging out with a different crowd. I was with all the... Yeah, thugs. Yeah, yeah I was with the thugs. You was over there with the with Well, the I, was, I was at home with my he kids. He preppy. Yeah. yeah, he was over there with He's the weirdos. Preppy? Yeah. preppy? Yeah. You can't be yeah, preppy buddy. at Little Wayne Hills. How can you not? You can't. How? I'm, I'm preppy now. You ain't preppy. Still preppy. <laughs> you wasn't preppy then. <laughs> I was, definitely wasn't preppy then, bro. Hell no. Nah. Oh, my bad. Hey, you ain't preppy, bro. Uh, you, know what I'm you thug to the day you I think die. I think I'm bougie now. All right, you might be bougie. I'll give you a little bit of that. Yeah, I'm bougie as fuck now. Yeah, you yeah, bougie. I give you now. bougie. Yeah. I give you bougie. Yeah, but I motherfucking you. back when I was young, bro, sh- whenever I had nothing. Bro, we you fighting too and rapping at the same time. This motherfucker was like doing fighting and and training and rapping and sh- he was like multitasking like a motherfucker. That's the ADHD, oh, bro. I just yeah. all over the place. He still owed me ten dollars for gas, though. Just let everybody out there, man. Get, as many times as I've let you come over, and go drink find me. me. My name's Rob Mullins. Just get, get go 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 find me a page or some shit. I don't know how to do it, but yeah. Start you a GoFundMe. We should start it. me a GoFundMe. Uh, about fifteen dollars, probably. <laughs> yeah, I just need like ten, fifteen bucks. Go find me. What are you gonna buy with it? Um, I don't know, man. A car. With fifteen dollars, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go and find a crackhead, bro. This <laughs> yeah. low one, I'm he's, like, he's, he's, he's getting ten ice houses. He's gonna baby. be like, I need some rocks, and I'm gonna be like, here you go, bud, fifteen bucks, give me that car. You know, you was a real bad influence. I'm a when bad was influence. A yeah. You was a bad influence, bro. When I was a kid, you, I used to come over to your house. <laughs> yeah. I was a little kid, young kid. This you'd, get, you'd give me roll up cigarettes and shit. Yeah, I mean, cause I mean, I loved you, bro. <laughs> give, give me, give me beer and shit. Like I was a little kid, bro. No, oh, you ain't gonna talk about Darby. Darby, Dude, Matt, Matt was a bad influence too. He had, he's right. the first person to ever give me smoke weed. He had me smoke out of a pop can, bro. And I fell. We was over at the tubs, and I was taking my sock off. And as I was <laughs> taking my sock off, take a sock off, we was getting in the water, <laughs> and we just got on smoking out of a pop can. I went to go take my sock off. You know the little jump down part. I fell backwards off of it, bro, and a rock stuck in my back and shit. <laughs> Matt had to get That's it out. That's what you get for getting high. Yeah, bro, God. And I didn't even like I didn't even like getting high, bro, but he was like, come on, bro, just hit it once. <laughs> Let's see. And then right before that, he beat me up over a girl. You before know, we even went out there. He was like, I, I like this girl. Uh, I like this girl, bro. Fuck Ashley, her. bro. Fuck her. Fuck her. He's a, he said he throwing names out, <laughs> ain't he? Yeah. Fuck uh, Ashley. Yeah, but anyways, though, it was this girl. Uh. I'll say her name since we're throwing names out there. Gabby Lyon, bro. I remember whenever I was a kid, I had a crush on her. And she liked Matt. I remember we was at, at, at her house, and I was trying to show off, and I tried to get a little tough with Matt. Matt was six years older than me. Oh, no shit. And I remember he just kicked my ass real, real good. And then we went swimming, and he got me high for kicking my ass. <laughs> hey, Darby was the coolest motherfucker in the world. He had swag, bro. He, he was just on a different level than most people at that time. Yeah, he's good, uh, dude. I'd like to see what he'd be like now. Oh, uh, man, his daughter though, uh, Brooklyn. Yeah, bro. Yeah, she's staying with uh, her grandma and shit up mm-hmm. in Cincinnati. No, that's what I heard. No, I think St- Stacy has her. Stacy still got her. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I wonder what Matt would be like now. Mm-hmm. I can <coughs> tell you what he'd be. He'd be like <coughs> rapping. He'd still be rapping. That boy, no, I don't think he would be. I think now Matt would. Uh, I don't know, bro. I would see him as like a construction worker now. <laughs> Damn, Either that he'd be in layer. prison. Either that or he'd be in prison. Oh, definitely prison. Yeah. Matt would, Matt would have definitely been in prison. Definitely going to prison. He just. He was a different type of cat. Yeah, he was too, he was too different, bro. He just didn't know ever when to chill. He had no chill. Bro, you know the night he died, right? He yeah. asked me and Black Rob. Well, it was the day before he died. He asked Black Rob and me. He was like, since we're throwing out names. He said, um. He was at my kitchen table. It was me, him, and uh, Penny and Black Rob. And he was like, look, we just got them Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? Him and some other people and shit. And this old lady, which, fuck her. Ashley, you're a bitch. You're a whole-ass, lying-ass, nation-ass bitch. Got too many kids. Can't even take care of them. You're garbage. Muff cabbage, bitch. Anyways. But, um. Yeah, we might have to believe that. <laughs> yeah, believe all that out. That was bad. But, anyways. But, like, he come to the table, 
and we sat there and he wrote up a blunt. He's like, that's a sexy motherfucker. You know how he used to say it? He's like, that's a sexy motherfucker. And he's, we're puffing and shit. We're all smoking. And um, he was like, bro, um, I got a lick. He was like, I want you and Rob to do it with me. But Rob. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? He's like, these Mexicans, bro, they get paid. And when they get paid, they get, like, they get, they all get money and shit. But he was like, all we gotta do is walk down here in this basement and rob this one nigga, bro. It's like 700 and I'm like, Mexican making seven hundred dollars, bro. Don't sound right to me. Shit, the niggas work for the pennies. You know what I'm saying? It's like, nah, for real. We just did it, like the other day. Him and his old lady Ashley. And <laughs> fuck I was him. with him. I was with him the night that he got shot. I was with yeah. him at one o'clock in the morning. Kent he got was shot. supposed. To, Kent was yeah. supposed to come down. Well, Kent did come down. Kent was with him when it happened. Yeah, I was. Uh, I was with Matt at one. And uh, I saw him on his front porch. I told him not to do it. I was like, you just had a baby. He asked me and Rob to go do that shit with him. Dude. I was like, bro, don't do that shit, bro. You just had a child. I just gave him my crib for Brooke and fucking put it together for him and everything. You know what I'm saying? Got to hold the baby, all that shit. His mom was there. Stacy was upstairs. It was cool. Yeah, I remember uh, the morning whenever uh, I heard he got shot. Cause so I heard I was, he got clipped in his arm. Well, I was with him. Uh, like I said, we was out there boxing uh, at the at the park. It was over there at the three benches. We was out there boxing. Um, it was actually the first night ever that I actually, actually ever beat Matt up, and I was super proud of myself that night. Um, we boxed. I remember he left. He took off. Ashley was still there. Me and Ashley went. I went with uh, Gabby, and then uh, I headed home. I remember Duder and Crystal Monroe was yeah, fuck right Duder there. Too. Fuck you, Duder. I remember they was right there on the access road. Their car was that little uh, that little purpley clips, and uh, they was they was sitting on Matt's front porch. And I knew you mean I knew we didn't fuck with the East End. You know what I mean like we we're up in Wayne Hills. We don't even fuck with East Enders. You feel me? So Unless I, they come to that was, that was that they was up there, but it was it was weird though. I knew that we did not hang out with these Enders. You know what I mean? So. Um, I'm walking because Matt lived literally just the next cubby hole over. So I'm walking to my cubby hole. I sit on the front porch for a minute. They take off. When they take off, um, I walk over to Matt's. Uh, Ashley's smoking on the front porch because Brooklyn. Matt goes in. Well, she goes inside. Matt comes out, grabs a cigarette. Me and Matt's talking. She's He's always bitching about diapers. We, uh, we dap up. He's like, I love you, little brother. Boom, boom. Uh, That's what he said to me. His last words he said to me was, I love you. And then... Uh, I went back home. I went over to Stevens. Went over to Stevens. I don't remember what we was doing, but um, I remember the next morning I wake up and uh, Dylan Marion come in and he was all like, uh, "Hey, he got a hold of me today too." Oh, Dylan. Yeah. Yeah. Dylan came in. He was all like, "He said uh, prison." He was all like, uh, "Matt, he's not in prison. I just saw him up in Wayne Hills." Supposed to be going to prison. Yeah. He looks bad, but. Uh, I remember Dylan was all like, uh, Matt got shot last night. And I was like, no, he didn't. I was with him last night. Chuck was the one that told me. And then. Uh, I had everybody at my kitchen, bro. I yeah. had like 30 people. Well, I remember kitchen. as soon as he said that, uh, the front window was open. And I looked out. And when I looked out, Stacy was out there. And I was like, Stacy, I was like, tell I was like, tell Dylan uh, Matt didn't get shot. And he was like, he did. I see. I said, I, I talked like, to. I, I was like, a- oh, fuck. So I, ended up, I went to my house. And I told mom and dad, like, Matt got shot last night. And you know what I mean? Boom, boom, boom. The way, and then Kevin was up in Wayne Hills right after that. Cause Kevin wasn't living there at the time, or I don't remember if he was living there or not. But I remember he yeah, had that uh, he had green a Camaro, so he was always yeah. But he back was living with a girl. He was living a chick yeah. he beat up. Well, I remember I was talking right. to all them and shit. And they, everybody was acting like it wasn't bad and shit, but yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah. I heard he got like winged in his shoulder. Well, he got but, shot in the back and it went, and, yeah, went and into and his it, heart. It bounced around and it clipped yeah. the artery in his heart. Cause I wanted to talk to Stacy. Well, I heard a lot of stories that they didn't even take him to the hospital right away. No, they didn't. They didn't take him to the hospital because like Kent was with him. All right, so Kent's like my brother. I mean, I still talk to him to this day. He was just over at my house yesterday. He was getting, you know, blazing and shit. But, like, even... And Kent was, like, one of his best, best friends. And, like, Kent's not like Darby. He's, like, you know, Darby's a thug. And Kent's more of a pacifist. You know what I'm saying? The kind of even... It's like yin and yang type shit. But Kent was there when it happened. The last words Darby said was, I've been hit. He's running to the car. 
Yeah, uh, yeah, I was told that as he was running to the car, they said he kept on falling, yeah. getting up, running back, falling, and uh, he passed out in the car. Yeah, and then I heard that. Uh, yeah, I heard they didn't. They they waited like thirty minutes before they even took him to. They the hospital. went back to the house and changed their clothes, and and Darby could have probably lived. Yeah, and if that well, Chuck, you know, Chuck died. God rest his soul too. But, like, Chuck called every single day, bro, about that murder investigation. And it was some Mexicans. But, I mean, Darby did put himself in that situation, you know what I mean? And I hate that. And he tried to put me and Black Rob in that situation, and I hate that. But, like, that bitch that he was with is the reason he did it. He was just trying to please her, give her the world. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even know how we got on this. This is a, I don't know. It got, got dark, didn't it? Yeah, got it, got, it got deep. It got dark. Uh, anyways, yeah, let's get off that topic. I, I, uh, hey. What? Bring bows and sunshine. Dude, I, you remember that the, last week I told you I was like, hey, I'm going to make myself cry tonight? Remember I said that? <laughs> yeah. Remember I told you to get that bottle? I did, didn't I? And, like, it wasn't even a good cry, though. Like, I, I, you I didn't get it out? Huh? You still bro. need a good one? After that, I was like, bro, I don't even think crying helps. Because <laughs> I, bro, it took me forever to cry, didn't it? He's really getting mad about it. Yeah, I was like, bro, hit me in the nuts, smack me, something, bro. Like, oh, I've done it. Start this out. Get to me. You'd have just tried to jack me off or something, dude. <laughs> <laughs> bro, Rob's a freaky motherfucker. Gas the motherfucking get. So, what's up, bro? What's your, what's your plans with life? Me? Yeah. Oh, shit. Live life, bub. As soon as my daughter graduates, I'm fucking going back to Florida. Hitting the waves and fucking living life. What have you been doing for the last 20 years? Fucking living life? I mean... What's your definition I've of? worked since I was nine years old, man. Honest to God. Got low low wages. My dad, he owns a construction company, so I, I worked for him in the summers and shit like that. Fucking... I was born in prison. <laughs> oh, God. You want you want my life story? Like I get to, Or, Bubbies, I give it to you. Let's hear it. I was born in prison. My mom was 16. She went to jail. I was born there. Took me to Delaware. Came back. Went to the foster system. Got adopted. Well, actually, I got taken back and then got adopted by the same family. I fucking just floated pretty much ever since, man. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> you just been living life. So why why do you like? Are you like? Do you consider yourself an alcoholic? Fuck yeah! <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah! Uh, hell yeah! <laughs> Don't deny it. You love that little shit. Do you like drinking a half gallon of a? Uh... Yeah, no, I I I like it. <laughs> yeah, I like it a little too much. That's why I realized like I gotta stop. Yeah. And you the other night, uh, don't be like me. Yeah, well, I'm not. See, I'm not worried about that because you you sit around drinking beer. I'm not a pussy. Oh, you so you call me a pussy because I ain't drinking like bottles. Yeah. yeah, constantly. I don't drink beer, bro. Shit. Me and this dude will get drunk as fuck, and he'll wake straight up in the morning and open up a beer. Hey, come and say something to the people. I did that like twice. Bro, you did it. You're an alcoholic. You know, bro, he is. How often alcoholic. do you drink him? Every single day. When he wakes up. Every he, other day. Hey, Bobby. When he wakes up and he snaps me, bro, and he calls me on snap, and he's like. Boom. I'm like, what are you doing? Got a beer, bub. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you encouraging that, Lucy. You get a crack one for me. For all, you, yeah, for all you kids out there, just drink a beer. It'll be all right. <laughs> Everything will be all right. You sound like Greg now. So you don't, uh, you don't ever, you don't ever every day. No, for a second, yeah, for a second. For but sure, you but put, I, you checked I, yourself. Yeah. Good. What? You don't drink every day is what you just said. Yeah. yeah. Do you, I, I, cause every are time you lying? You get of I me, I think you might be lying. You drink Saturday. Sunday. Sunday. And it's Monday you're drinking now. So you're just lying. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, and you know, it turns into a 12. That don't even count. A 12 bro. turns into a case. Well, I mean, but listen, bro. Maybe I do got a problem. I ain't thought about it. Hey, I'm going to tell you what. How old are you? Looks like he's 12. He said 21 for the camera. <laughs> uh, Yeah, so, bro, you have a problem. Yeah, yeah definitely. Well, I was drinking like that when I was young. You need no. to go to rehab. That's what happened. Bro, you was all <laughs> kinds of fucked up when you was young. Yeah. Hey, I'll tell you. <laughs> what'd you what'd you start off drinking? Beer. Beer. See, I started off with uh, 
<laughs> yeah. uh, Mad Dog 2020, E and J. E and J. Because Matt Darby, E and J. Shit, me, Steven, and Matt, bro. We used to drink E and J. God. I miss Steven, bro. And I'll tell you, some of the worst pukes I ever had was off E and J. Yeah, that is the worst puke yeah. ever. Urkin Jerk. I remember Dom. Uh, Dom and uh, C4 was renting out this apartment in Wayne Hills. Fuck C4. And uh, they was selling and shit. And they would like, you mean, I was like, their voice. They you would know like, he pulled a pistol out on me? Who, oh, C4 did? Yeah, he did. For what? Nothing. I was at Fisher's house, bro, right? And I'm trying to cop a bag of wheat. Can I say that? Yeah. All right, so I was trying to cop a bag of wheat. We should probably just bleep out the name of the guy that... No, nah, fuck it. We're, nah, we're, fuck we're it. playing we the streets. We're going live on this. We're putting names on it. This, this whole podcast, we're going to call it Just Telling. Just tell, <laughs> yeah, just rob. Just, just tell the truth, bro. Speak on it. But, nah, so this motherfucker, bro, he come up, and he's just like, uh, I'm in Fish's house, bro. He comes up running his mouth, bro. So I'm on the porch, bro. I'm like kind of, you know what I mean? Like, shit, you want to get froggy? You can go. You know what I'm saying? And he backs off, and he goes. I'm not saying I'm a bad dude, bro. I mean, I know how to, you know, throw my hands and shit, but I ain't the baddest motherfucker in the world. But I was, you know, I was standing my ground. He walks off, bro, so I go, I leave fishes. All right, I caught my bag of weed. I leave fishes, bro. And as I'm going out, bro, you know how they got the, the porch lights and all that shit? Yeah. I feel somebody grab me by my back, and I turn around, bro, and there's a gun in my face, bro. And C4 and some big ass tall ass cat. I don't even know who he is or his name, anything. But fuck you, nigga. You ain't fuck you, dog. <laughs> yeah, he so ain't pulled bleeps. the trigger. But I was like, the last words I'd ever spoke on God was really. Those have been my last words. Like really. But you, but nothing even happened. Nah, I just walked off. He said those what? No, but I'm saying like nothing even caused this. Nah, I didn't do nothing. He was just on some, he's probably high on some shit or something. Mm. But like, oh God, this has been my last words. Really? I mean, think about that. That shit sucks. You want to know what my last words would have been the other night? <laughs> I suck your dick. <laughs> no. Oh, what? <laughs> my last words would have been, I w- I'm so horny. Because that's the last thing I said before I went to bed. See, I told you. I told you. No, I mean, yeah. Kind of, oh, I guess. Me so no, I remember horny. I looked at, oh, looked at, oh, uh, me so horny. I looked at, uh, <laughs> me love you long Willie, time. Willie, I told him, I was like, man, I'm horny, bro. <laughs> then I went back there and tried to go to sleep. About dying. That'd have sucked. Imagine dying being the one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a clip. <laughs> That's a clip. <laughs> nah. What the fuck is you just Imagine dying being horny, bro. That's gonna suck. Yeah, that is bad. That's a bad way to go I out. That. That no, out that's a nose? bad way to go out right there. Right? That, I got beer on my face and everything. Woo! That come out your nose? Yeah, my <laughs> fucking yeah. How you feel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know a girl. Can you I'm, chug that little shit for me real quick? I want to see you chug it. Hell no. Nah. Do you smoke weed? Yeah. Roll something. You already rolling something, aren't you? Let's. Well, you're you're spilling that, dude. Oh, what's going on? It's because I spit all over this motherfucker. Suck it up, dude. Fuck you. You talking about you sucking and swallowing? <laughs> no, you talking about fucking like, <laughs> sucking and swallowing. <laughs> Looking at this boy like I'm so horny and then going to bed. <laughs> like why you like an invite for? Like why you telling him that? <laughs> I mean, I was just talking and I was fucked up. Like man, this yeah, sucks. Yeah, sure you was, he was. Up that night. Yeah. I had some missed calls from you. Dog. <laughs> hey, Ricky, wild. you do a little strange for some change. Mm-hmm. Who doesn't? <laughs> if you're going to do something gay, do it for money at least. <laughs> you know what I mean? You and Dante's just doing it for free. Ice houses. <laughs> <laughs> why Dante got to be Dante? Hey, why Dante got to get involved in this? Why Dante tell me, say, I'm about to get him some ice houses. <laughs> and hey, we're hey, talking they're trying to roof me. I'm getting Cosby. <laughs> I'm getting Cosby in this motherfucker. So what's up though? How long's it like? Do you be fucking or what? You be fucking these little hoes you always be around or not? Nah, I don't be. I be fucking their moms. Mm. <laughs> nah, for real. You be getting, you be getting puss. Yeah, last one I fuck was Nikki. Hey, fuck you too, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she tried to move in on my ass. So I was with you? Ask, yeah, she tried to. It's like hell nah. That's why so you old man beat you. Oh nah, she cute as fuck. Yeah. Bro, nah, she hot as hell. He just said that's why your old man beats you. Yeah, because she be fucking clean. I can't deal with that. I'm sorry. 
I mean, good luck. Are you looking for an old lady? Hell no. What do you want? Like, you just want to kick it and drink? No, I just want to fucking be me. But I mean, like, what are like what what are you? What are like? my ambitions? Like, I'm saying, like, what do you? I'm saying, like, you. I be seeing you're always drinking, always kicking it. Right. You don't want to kick it with like a bitch. I be getting mine too. But I'm saying though, I think it for me. Well, you, you gotta have it like clap, 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 clap cheeks every night. I like to. All right, I'm out. Not. You don't like that little shit? Oh, you're old though. I forgot. <laughs> oh, nigga, I don't need Viagra. Oh God, I don't. But nah, I mean, like, I'm not looking for that one. I don't, you know what I mean? I don't care about any of that you shit. You already had your one. That would no, for that one. That bitch can go on. You love her, dude. Oh, I always will. She's one of my children. She is. You ain't bro. never gonna leave her, dude. You got some bullshit. <laughs> you got me fucked <laughs> up. I try to leave every. Why am I down here right now? Because I don't want to be there. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't know about you. What about you? Uh, uh, I'm looking for love, dude. <laughs> You're looking for love. Looking for love. Looking for love in all the wrong places. I am looking for it all in the wrong places, dude. Uh, no, I don't know, bro. I think I'm tired of the life I'm living, and that I want to. All right, so we get old, deep. I want a good old female to hold me down and push me to do better. I told you this a year ago. I was like, but a year ago I wasn't ready to. Yeah, settle but, down. but here's the thing, you. I feel like a lot of times with men your age, it's like oh, your age. Yeah, like I'm older, so uh, I am too. How are you? Thirty-seven. I'm forty and six. Yeah. So um, basically, we're all ten years apart. So you're, I, I'm. 46. You might be where I'm at in ten years. That's what I'm saying. People don't understand. Like when I was young, bro, I was really hanging out with all the old heads, bro. That's why I'm old. He's got an old soul. Yeah, because I, I was always with old, old people, old bro. Soul. But I was not, never with kids my own age, bro. Whenever I was, we about got fucking hey, took do down, bro. About got yeah, raped. Yeah, by them gay guys up in the woods. Sure, yeah. That's why they hang out with people my age, bro. Yeah, he tried to rape them. Bro, they tried to rape you and Austin. It almost got Austin. I was trying to talk Austin <laughs> back there too. they doing. It's like, come here, I got some candy. I kept on telling Austin, I said, go over there and hang out with them. I think you, I think you, uh, you might almost be ready to sell. I think, I, I He's think ready really, to like, 33. Was like when I was like, but I was already in, I was already with Kelly. But yeah, I'm was, I'm ready. I think I'm ready. The reason uh, I, I'm I'm just trying to play the field, bro. That's all I'm doing. Like uh, D, thank you D. If you ever get to see this podcast, I'm just gonna say, look, I love you, brother, man, my nephew, man. You've been great. You've hooked me up with a lot of females and their uh, moms. You gotta make sure you blur this little shit. Yep. Hit that little shit. Let me see you hit. It. I don't hit that shit. That's drugs. That's a backwood, too. Oh, you hit it one time. You're a pussy, for real. you. <laughs> Anyways, but, yeah, thank you, D. But, yeah, nah, man. I've been hooking up with, like, his girls, moms. Sorry about all them dads out there. <laughs> 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 Sorry. You just out there wrecking homes? Or yeah. You like that little shit? It's fun. It is fun, ain't it? It is. I get a kick out of it. <laughs> Hell, yeah. What about you, Greg? You ever run any homes? Nah, bro. You know he has. I, I, Come I do, on. I, I do want to tell a quick story, though. So Let's I spent the last week in New York. My sister got married up there. She lives in uh Buffalo area. Okay. And um, so we couldn't be in the Airbnb until 3 o'clock, right? So um, I've never been in New York before, but I, I have heard from my friend Ricky that uh, the laws are a little different up there. Did you take your gun? Buddy. <laughs> Did you take your gun? Bro, shut the fuck you up. No, I stay strapped. Greg, you can't go to jail. You never do let, that. Let again. me tell you this story. <laughs> I stay strapped up, bro. He say I stay uh, strapped. Ready to pull and squeeze like a gas pump. Oh, flat Damn. Out. You know what I mean? I'm in New York. I heard they act up. You know what I mean? Yeah. I Bars. <laughs> so anyway, um, we can't be at the Airbnb until three. So Kelly's like, oh, we'll go see Niagara Falls. Oh, well, when, yeah. when Kelly was a kid, her parents <laughs> took her to Niagara Falls. They went to Canada and looked at them, mm -hmm. right? So you're on the New York side. I'm in New York, and I'm already, like, if I know I, I, I didn't. You know what? Everything I'm about to say is a lie. It's all for entertainment purposes only. So anyway, I'm in New York, and I'm like, I know. I didn't look up the laws, but I know. So <laughs> Kelly, she's like, we're going to. I look. I Google. 
And I'm like, it says you have to have a passport to go to Canada. Yeah. We don't have passports. And you have to have a birth, birth certificate for your kids. We don't have birth certificates. See, I didn't think you had to have a uh, passport. For so me and my girl and uh, three of our kids are in this car. My daughter and her two sisters are in a car a few cars back. So we pull up and this this chick's at the uh, the toll. To, we're in Canada at this point, but we just ain't in Canada. Yeah. So yeah, past the toll. She, she was like, you guys don't have passports? I was like, no, nah, we didn't know we had to have them. I just Googled it. I knew we had to fucking have them, but Kelly just wanted to just to try, try something. Yeah. I'm already, I'm like, why are we? So I'm, I'm just like, fuck, because I'm thinking in my head, like, we have guns on us. How many guns do you have? We, we both have We one? stay strapped well, up. Bro, you got ready, that, bro. Listen, hey, ready to pull and squeeze like a gas out. pump. We ain't got to put all the business out. What is wrong with you? I can't, I got to protect my family. This is America. That. I'm a goddamn American, hey. and I'm an Ohio boy. That's right. And I'm I, a fucking American. I tried that same minute, shit. Is it? Hold on, hold on, real quick. I went to, I almost went to prison. Let me, like, yeah, I gotta Up finish the story. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> so anyway, the the chick asked us at the toll thing, and she wasn't nice, but she wasn't mean. But she was like, "You guys, if you guys have anything that you need to declare, tobacco, firearms, and, like, anything, yeah, they even go to yeah. fruits, bro. yeah, anything, right?" No. So Kelly says no, and she looks at me, and she's like, are you agreeing to that? And I was like, yeah, we ain't got nothing. So she's like, well, you guys don't have passports or birth certificates for your kids, so we can't let you go in, but go park next to that white car. Oh, I'm, so yeah. I'm like, hey, my daughters are a few cars behind. They don't have passports either, so they're going to have to do the same thing. And she's like, all right. Well, they end up going to a different toll than we went through. Yeah. So they this dude walks up to the car when we pull next to that white car. He comes over and... We're like, hey, we didn't have passports. We didn't know. So he's like, well, come inside. We go inside. We're sitting in this little room. Here comes my other three daughters in. And one of my daughters is crying. Kylie. And I'm like, what's wrong with you? She's like, the guy at the toll booth was just really rude to me. Whatever, whatever. I was like, oh, well, it's going to be all right. So I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, like, what the fuck is about to happen? Right? Damn. We're in fucking Canada. <laughs> what the fuck? So um, Kelly had walked outside. I guess the, the bathroom was outside, so well, I, I walk care. out because I'm thinking, like, are these fucking people out here trying to talk to her or something? Whatever. So I get up and I walk out, and when I walk out, that white car is getting searched. And I'm like, fuck, I'm going to jail in Canada today. <laughs> like, I'm sure, of, like, if they're searching their car, the one they had us parked next to, and the motherfucker got, like, gloves on, searching through every little backpacks and shit. What would Joe in Canada be like? I, I figured it'd be really pussy, but I didn't <laughs> want to do it. You know what I mean? So, hey. anyway, I was like, oh, sorry. Well, I, I realized, I'm like, I'm getting arrested in front of all of my kids. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to, except one, and I'm going to fucking jail. And uh, so, I have, so I mentally prepare myself to go to jail in Canada, right? So, I go sit down. That's I'm up. just sitting back in that fucking room looking at my kids like, they're all about to watch me get arrested. And I just gotta, you too. know what I mean? Be like, hey, don't worry about. It. I'm thinking I'm gonna miss my sister's wedding. You know what I mean? Fuck your sister's wedding, bro. We'd have missed the podcast today. <laughs> Fuck. No, I was shit. thinking about the podcast, bro. That's fucked up shit. I'm thinking bro. about. They're the hockey players too, bro. You know when you go to fucking prison in fucking Canada, bro, you're getting fucked up. They be like, hey, ho. Yeah. He's some just old. He's just thinking yeah. sticks. <laughs> yeah. They're fucking like um, <laughs> putting you up against so, the glass and shit. They. They called my oldest daughter up first, mm -hmm. and Kelly walked up there with her, and while they were still talking, they called my name. So it's like this big desk and all these fucking armed in. guards back there. So I walk up, and I'm like, he's like, how many of y'all are there? I was like, we're all together. We, they was just in separate cars, whatever. So I walk up, and I'm just hoping that nobody says anything but me, because I feel like I'm good at talking myself out of some shit. Some shit. So That's I'm like, up. listen, bro. We didn't know we had to have passports. Please just let us go back to America. <laughs> and uh, I was like, I was like, we were just trying to kill time Help. before this Airbnb opened up. And um, he hands me back my ID and he said, "All right, go back to America." Yakums, bro. So Gots then, so then I'm like, the road, okay, bro. are we set? Like, is this is this over? Yeah. So as we're walking out to the car, I'm thinking, are they gonna say like, no, we have to search your car first or something? I'm like, get in the motherfucking cars car and now. let's get the back to america <laughs> yeah. since you crossed the border bro, bro i'm good i was that whole fucking time whoa, on the whoa. way back i was like god damn <laughs> bro <laughs> literally i was like i just fucking ruined my my trip but 
Hey, you ain't in jail? You didn't go to jail. No. You're doing the podcast. But you can't listen. You know, bro, you cannot. And everything I just said was a lie. None of that happened. It's just for entertainment purposes. No, I think y'all should come get him. He's telling the truth. Just in case they try to be like, I'm calling bullshit on him, but whatever. Motherfucking, um, dog. You just, you cannot take guns up that way. New Jersey and New York, you do not take guns there. Like I said, bro, I'm an Ohio boy. I'm an American. That's where you need a gun at. No, bro. Well, that's what I'm saying. I heard they I got arrested up. up there, bro, and they offered me 10 years. <laughs> they was trying to give me 10 years. Fuck it's you. a minute. That's what I was thinking about. Fuck you. <laughs> I was you know thinking about saying? you the whole time. I was like, Ricky, bro, these Ricky. motherfuckers ain't going to let me go off you easy. I can't be like, oh, I, I can't Ricky read. <laughs> yeah. Or whatever you said. Like, you told him, he's like, I can't even fucking read. I can't Shit. read or write, bro. You know what I mean? And for real, that's a hey. fact. Hold on. Listen, listen. I got arrested up in New York. We was we was going to the UFC fights. It was TJ Dillashaw versus Henry Cejudo. We was going to them fights, bro. It was back in uh, uh, 19 or 20. The beginning, it was the beginning. It was January. It's sometime. And um, we was going up there, and uh, we get pulled over. People that are with me wasn't as solid as me. <laughs> they started, How'd they search your car, though? Well, because they said, is anything illegal in the car? And someone said, they I don't know, it's not up. my car. They all bitched up. So whenever they said that, they come up and... I looked at Bree and I was just all like, "Tell him we got guns." By the time we said that, bro, they had Ty Ty out the car because me and Bree was sitting in the back seat because I was just so tired of driving. Me and Bree was in the back seat. They pulled Ty Ty out. They're just beating the f- out of Ty Ty. They're stomping him and shit. Damn. And they're beating the shit out of Ty Ty. And Damn. I thought, bro, I don't know. I thought, I was sitting there thinking like. Like I said, I'm in the back seat. I'm you like, talking about the police the beating side. the shit out of Yeah, the police. So Damn. Matt's over there sitting on the sidewalk. The police. They got him sitting on the sidewalk. They pull Ty Ty out. They start beating Ty Ty's ass. I'm sitting there watching him beat Ty Ty's ass like, damn, he must have done something bad. <laughs> I figured they ran his name and bro was wanted for murder or something. The way they was treating him, bro, they was dog walking him. They There was like six of them on him stomping him and shit. They was fucking him up. Dead ass. Stop. He, had, he had on one of them Jordan hoodies. It's a red hoodie, but the sleeves are black on it. And there was footprints all over from them stomping them. And so anyways, they f- that cat up. they're like this. I'm right there at the window, the the windows down. And this little Mexican cop standing there. And he's like, get the fuck out of the car with a gun in my face. I'm like, what the fuck? I get out the car. They're like, get on the ground. I start getting on the ground. Another cop runs up from behind me, bro. He runs like, I swear to God, like fast as fuck. Tackles me while I'm already getting down. I'm already getting down. It's snowy. I got on this nice ass outfit because we was going straight to the open way ins. So they tackle me on the ground, boom. Next thing you know, like, I'm like, what, what's going on? What's going on? Like, why are y'all acting like this, bro? And they're all like, you guys got guns? And it was like, yeah, we told right. y'all. <laughs> like, that's normal in a while. Yeah, like, bro, we're Americans, bro. I didn't know you couldn't. Which I knew we couldn't. <laughs> you know what I mean? I knew we couldn't. We just looked up the laws where we went. Yeah. What you mean? Like, I didn't. Yeah, bro. I thought, me being American, bro, I thought I was allowed. <laughs> and you was not. They took us to jail, bro. And I remember... Um, You'd have to talk to Robert about this because Robert, he's the first. I couldn't remember. No one's, no one's, it was me, Matt, and Ty Ty in the cell. And uh, my baby mom was like all the way down the hall. And uh, I remember like, dog, they, we was in there for like 12 hours. They didn't give us a phone call, nothing. They're taking us back, interrogating us and shit. And uh, where's this at? This is in New Jersey, bro. Hack New, Jersey. New Jersey. We was right, we was, we was on the bridge going into New York. Damn, we, yeah, bro. It was right there at the toll. So, um, they're tripping out and shit. The cops are, and uh, long story short, like they're they got us. They're interrogating us and shit. And I'm all like, bro, I'm like, I'm start screaming. This is my right as American to get to get a call. Blah blah. <laughs> screaming and shit. So instead you of letting me, yes, yeah, so instead of like using a pay phone, they brought me like a house phone, and gave it to me inside the cell because I was tripping. I'm talking about I was tripping, and I'm like. They give me the phone. I didn't know no one's number by heart. So I'm all like, <laughs> I start yelling, okay. Bree. I'm all like, what's my brother's number? And Robert never answers calls, bro. <laughs> never. She gets, she yells me Robert's number. I type it in. I'm I'm calling. I swear to God, he picked up the first two rings, bro. I said, ain't no fucking way. I said, I was like, bro, I'm in jail in New Jersey, bro. I, so I was like, fun. I was like, bro, I got in jail in New Jersey, bro, over gun charges. He's all like, he's like, slow down, slow down, what? I'm all like, bro, I'm in fucking jail. He's all like, I'm at the bar. I'm all like, I was like, go. I was like, go get the mom. I don't, you mean I don't know what to do? I'm like, get the mom. He drives from the fishbowl to my mom's. Oh, we're on the phone this whole time. They're trying to get me to hurry up. 
I'm like, hold on, man. My mom, on, my man. brother takes me up there. He's like, Mom, Ricky's in jail, blah, blah, blah. So she got to me on speakerphone and shit. I'm tripping out. Still, so I'm like, blah, blah, blah. I'm in there cussing him out and shit. My mom was like, Ricky, calm down. So putting up make the situation worse. I'm all like, I'm just, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. And the only real emotion I know is to like get mad. So like, Heart. I'm all like, I'm scared to death, but I'm just like, I'm, we got to fight about it. it. You yeah. know what I mean? It's the only thing I can think of. Yeah. So, um, my mom was like, calm down, calm down, boom, boom. And finally, like, these detectives, like, after a little while, they started acting cool with us and shit. Like, they were trying to do, like, good cop, bad cop. So this girl cop, she's, like, coming up. She's being all sweet and shit. She was like, look, we're going to let y'all OR out. Uh, this is, like, 3, 4 in the morning. They said, what oh, were they or you? Yeah, they was, like, 3 or 4 in the morning. Nowhere to go. <laughs> no, we had our hotel. Oh, okay. We just never made it to check in until then. And she was all like, we're going to let you OR out, boom, boom. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm excited. Didn't think it was bad. Um, she's like, we understand y'all Y'all wasn't up here to do nothing bad, blah, blah, blah. She's like trying to like sweet talk me and shit. So I'm thinking like, okay, well, they're going to let us go. This is where the Damn. icing on the cake was. I was like, oh, shit, we're good to go. She said, uh, and we also did y'all a favor. We got your car out of town for y'all. Hey, they brought us shit. the car to the jail. Right? So I was all like, we're good. I was like, we're Gucci. Like, <laughs> we're not even going down smoking for real. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Then they handed us these papers, and there was a list of nine different felonies that we all had. And I said, oh, my God. <laughs> Which I only ended up getting charged with two felonies. I got charged with two, uh, two F2s, uh, possession of firearm without a permit in the state of New Jersey, and a felony two, large capacity of ammo. Just because anything over eight bullets there, or nine bullets, so if you're, you got a clip that holds 12, that's a, that's. Yeah. It's, oh, but I knew I was. Oh, bro. If they would have searched my car. I only car, eight. And look, so then <laughs> I took, I took, right now. I took Ty Ty's gun charge on top of that. So they was all like, it was like, I hope you know that's uh mandatory five for each gun charge. I said, oh that's my God. Crazy. I said, <laughs> I should have said they was his. You know what I mean? I should have too. I should have just, hey, I should have just went to snitching, but I mean, nothing really real bad happened. Um. I mean, I'm just a felon now. Little shit, you know what I mean? Something light. But, dude, they would have got you. You're black. Yeah, well, I was going to take Kelly. They got you. You're black. I mean, I, I'm just joking saying, shit. like, Kelly didn't actually have a gun. I didn't have a gun either. But I was going to take Kelly's gun charge, too, of course. You yeah. know what I mean? So I was like, I'm fucked. <laughs> you know what I mean? <sighs> yeah, you done went down. I just I, choked on that As water. soon as she pulled up to the toll, the Canada toll, I just let out this big sigh, like, God damn it, why are we doing this? Yeah, that was dumb to even drive. Bruh. <laughs> One hundred percent, the dumbest part of it, like yeah, they're like, there's a lot of dumb shit you do, but to try to cross a border <laughs> yeah, with know. guns on you, you. One they asked you, they asked you country. have tobacco, and she had a pack of cigarettes in her lap, bro. Like, no, nah, we ain't got no tobacco. I, I assume they meant like a large quantity. What of if tobacco. you did have like tobacco? I don't know. I they, they, they if you. They're, they're probably wanting to search through your shit. That's what that's what they're asking you questions like. Yeah. You're legally deporting so tobacco. <coughs> In the United States border. Yeah, the fact that... I don't know why they didn't search us. I thought for sure they were. Yeah, oh, they should have. Yeah. Buddy, they should have. One so more second. I think that Americans... This is America. There yes. should be no state law that trumps our Constitution. We should be allowed to have guns no matter where the f*** we're at. That's all I want to say. Who, but, who, uh, about Jesus. No, you. But <laughs> the other thing is, all this shit we talk about that we can't put on YouTube, we could probably put on Patreon and have people have a paywall, have people pay to watch it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see a lot of people paying to watch that, though. Maybe. What? People's opinions? People love people's opinions. Nah. I think it's a good idea. I think that the fact that they people will be like, wait, YouTube wouldn't allow it? What is it? I want to see it. Yeah. They'll pay five bucks a month for that, three bucks a month. Just because you can't see it on the content of YouTube? Mm -hmm. And we get through $3 every month? Three, five, ten, whatever we want to charge Shit, 50? <laughs> something hey, light? I got to something that light. We were start, we were start fucking. <laughs> like each other? No, oh, I was going to say. I mean, Man, y'all split that 50 50, bro. I was going to say, bro, make that little shit 100. <laughs> 100? <laughs> yeah, at least 150, bro. A billion? Who's taking who? Well, you're taking me, right? If you get a yacht, I'm going on it. <laughs> yeah. That's all I say. All right, all let right. me hear some. What, what's the one of the wildest stories that's ever happened to you in your life, Rob? Oh, me killing myself, basically. Hell yeah, let's talk about it. My back's broke still. But. What? From the big bitches in Florida or what? Nah, that <laughs> was crazy. But Did you fuck one of them? Yeah, on the beach. You fuck one of the fat girls? Nah. You just said you did. I fucked 
and then yeah. some bitch stole court came back. Uh, she stayed at my house. Had Penny in the fucking front room. <coughs> bitch in this room, and they become friends, and that shit sucked. So what goes on with you and Penny now in y'all's household? Hey, well, nah, nothing. I ain't fucking her, bro. No, I'm saying like y'all be talking, like y'all be chilling. No, she talks to her fucking phone. She does this shit, bro. I'm gonna show you. All right, look, see how my phone's off. Yeah. <laughs> Finger, power, finger, 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 power. Finger, power. Finger, power. And then she goes, what do you think made her go crazy? No, because she used to be normal, bro. What would you guys do to make her be like that? Nothing. She just fucking, she gets a crazy check anyways. Yeah, She was getting a crazy check then. Penny was normal back then, though. She wasn't normal, bro. She wasn't <laughs> normal at all. I to compare to like how I see her on your snaps now and shit. You seen my snaps of her? I mean, yeah, you go, yeah. Uh, this shit's scary, bro. She's fucking nuts. So, she sleeps with what? She sleeps with demons. She's got demons. Like, on God. I think she's possessed. Like, man. You think she's possessed? Oh, shit. She, I mean, she's, I, I'll be seeing snaps of her, bro. She's definitely not normal like how she used to be. I think she's possessed. Like, for real. She sleeps with knives and fucking all kinds of shit. Like, oh, uh, she'll come in my room in the middle of the night and stare at me for no reason. Oh, That's buddy. uncomfortable, though. Yeah. What do you do when you catch I'm her? It's like, what are you doing? I don't know if she's sleepwalking. Oh, or... she's, that, she's thinking about killing you. Yeah, are you yeah, afraid for yeah, your safety? I know she's fucking to kill me. You afraid for your safety? Yeah. I would Duh. Be, He said something about a men's fucking... <laughs> yeah, something. battered boyfriend. Nigga, I bust her in her mouth. She tries to stab me. Nigga, I'm like, you got the wrong motherfucker. <laughs> Bat. Uh, try to stab me, nigga. I should stab you. Yeah. Call the law. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's crazy. So, I think my wife's going crazy. Do you guys? Uh, no, like, we don't have no sexual relations. Well, we I was, I was like, do you guys like get along ever? <laughs> Yeah. When people are at the house. Does she, she drink? No. Oh, she's just. Pothead. She's smoking weed and she's still crazy? Yep. Nah, I, I think it makes her crazy. You know the truth. I do. Or do you think you, like, made her crazy over the years? No. <laughs> Bro, I leave her alone. I don't want to be involved in that shit. I'm just like. But it's like. But yeah, I be seeing you putting like your camera on her and shit. Like she's it, it's, showing you what the fuck crazy. I go through. Showing yeah. y'all, I'm giving you a piece of what I go through. But do you think that's what make her day. has made her crazy or no? No, I think she's crazy because when I fucking record her being crazy, she's fucking crazy. Bitch is crazy. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> bitch is nuts. Y'all got kids together? Hell yeah. How many kids? Two. Where they at? And I raised her fucking. Bastard ass daddy don't do shit, Mikey. You fucking fit because you like being in fucking prison. Uh, where, where's y'all's kids at? Were they, how old are they? My daughter is at her own house. She's uh, graduated. She's from Blodimus. I don't know what that is. They take blood. Take blood. All right. And my son graduated and he's about to work at Walmart for like 15 50. And my other daughter, she's a fucking fuck up like me and acting stupid, hanging out with the wrong people. And, but I've done pretty good with everybody else, so I'm gonna get her together. <laughs> I am, I'm gonna get her together. I got to. Is That's there anything you would have done differently? Because you said you're what, 47, 46? 46. Like, I mean, you're not dead yet. Like, you still got, you might no, have another 46 like, years. Bro, you might have another 46 like, years. People live to I, be 90. If I had days. anything to do, I'll give you three things. All right. Three things. I would not have jumped off that fucking rock and fucked myself up. <laughs> it's 80 foot. You wouldn't have played basketball with Ricky and Robert? Yeah. Actually, I sang on the same one. Okay. All right. Yeah, because y'all ain't on me, Mary. That shit hurt. You fucked me up. But, um, been better to my parents. You know what I mean? Because I was a little shit. I was. And, um, you know what I mean? Should have probably gone to church a little bit more and all that. 
Not that I don't believe in God. You know what I mean? Because he does. He works in mysterious ways. That's why I got my kids and all that. But honestly, like, I don't regret meeting Penny. That's the one thing. So I only got two. Just She gave you, me my babies. No, you only got two me. regrets. It's jumping off a cliff to me and Robert landing on you. <laughs> yeah. Out of your whole life. <laughs> Pretty Damn. much. That's fucked up. Well, I think... I mean, I, He's so, hurt. he's high right now, so high. Look at him. <laughs> Shit hurt. He's so high. Shit <laughs> hurt. Bro, you have them land on you. Robert and oh, Ricky. No, I, I ain't yeah, that, that should have killed you. Hey, Robert and Ricky both, and somebody else, I think, beat me up in a hotel room. And, you beat them uh, up? Where was we at? Cleveland. Cleveland. Bro, I was, so back up? then, I was skin, I was like 170 pounds, bro. I remember you being skinny, We just, bro. no, what yeah. we, exactly what we no, wanted I to show him. No, I remember being skinny, though. What, what, do you remember what it was? What? We wanted to show you how easy it would be if we was in prison with you. <laughs> Is that what, <laughs> that what was happening? <laughs> it was me, him, and I think Don't right drop the soap, homie. Maybe it was. So, uh, so I got three big dudes. Right. Right. And I'm like, I'm over there doing push-ups. I was in shape. I was skinny, but I was in shape, right? I'm like, I'll oh, fuck you all up. I got you. So I, I'd like jump my spider monkey jump on one of their back you know what i mean because i'm all little. jacked up I'm and do. and uh then they just proceeded to beating my ass all three of them <laughs> just beat the <laughs> f- out of me in this hotel like tossed me around like it was nothing bro it was bad was we slamming you from bed to bed yeah but it was a, it was actually a lot of fun for real yeah we like, just want to show getting, getting, beat getting up your ass right. whoop is a lot of fun literally all we want my man's do. mouth right here <laughs> Right now, you heard it. Getting your ass whooped is a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, yeah. we was just trying to show him, like, hey, you got three big-ass white boys. If we was in prison, we'd be the ones doing the fucking. Because <laughs> I'm over in the corner doing push-ups, trying gay to get love. ready for us to go perform. It's all gay I wanted love. to be, have a little pump going on. Yeah, he wanted to look all nice, bro. And I was like, that, that, you, you looking nice ain't going to save you, boy. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> and, bro, I got tossed around that hotel room. Bro, it was bad. I got all about that. But it was system. good. We used to have a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, bro, we've had a we've done a lot of shit Ever. together. No, I want to hear the best time. Best, best time. I don't even know right uh, now. Yeah. Like I'd be I'd be forgetting about a lot of shit we do, bro. I've been hit a lot. I've been hitting the head a lot, so I forget about a lot. <laughs> of I've been drinking a lot. Box. I don't remember nothing. Yeah. Uh, I fucking. What was your best fight? Uh, my boxing your, match. Yeah, favorite. My last. What was my last one? No, uh, the one ever I won my belt. That was probably my best performance. I looked the best. I was in the best shape, and. Uh, I just did the best. I beat the f*** out of bro. Yeah. On it. Oh, these hands are bad now. These hands be crazy. Yes. Shit. Mother f***ing huh? kitty. Yeah, no. That, this knuckle's just so broke. This one's completely sideways. These hands are just... These hands... I can only fight women nowadays. <laughs> Hard that, bitches. Be That's scared. all you need to fight nowadays. They're, yeah. the, one, they're the aggressive <laughs> ones. Yeah. They uh, are, really. The, let's say that. You ever like, been Let's go back to, like, there's only, like... Women's batter shoulders, no men's batter shoulders. Bitches be beating men these days. Mm-hmm. They be females be putting their hands on motherfucking men. What the fuck, dog? <coughs> Cops, police, state high patrols, FBI, all y'all niggas. My bad. <laughs> all y'all niggas need to understand. Guys be getting beat up too by these crazy ass females, and we don't want to put our hands on them. Ass bitches. I remember back when I was young, uh, one of our well, I lived on Kent Street Apartments, and uh, so it's you know, I mean neighbors right there. Well, they must have heard some some hits happening, right? And uh, they called the cops. So the cops show up. It's actually uh, of course it's your fault. What was the cop? Shipley. Yeah, Juan Shipley. Oh, Juan, Juan Shipley. Shipley showed up. He's yeah. like, I open the door. He's like, Greg, and I'm like, What's up, man? <laughs> what happened? Bro? And I'm sweaty. You beating her ass? <laughs> bro, I'm so, nah. Yeah, you was. He's, he's, listen, bro, I was Yo, sweaty, you know. bro. And he's, he's like, to jail. he's like, I got a call here, domestic violence or something. Well, she comes to the door. She's sweaty as I am. She's leaking and shit. <laughs> bro, no, she ain't have no marks on her talking about Didi? She's, huh? You talking about Didi? No, 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 no. Didi me up. I never put my hands on Didi. Uh, but anyway, we put, we're both at the door. And we're both pouring sweat. It had been a little tussle happening. You know what I mean? But she was bigger than me, bro. Like, She's <laughs> your ass that's up. what I'm saying. So he's like, Greg, turn around. I'm like, because I'm, going, I'm to going to jail. Joe. And I turned around, put my hands behind my back. And he said, did he hit you? And she said, no. And he said, Greg, turn back around. 
He oh, said, "Don't let me come here again." Nah, that's br- that's black privilege. Hey, bro, you, know you want to know why? Because that that's cop, that cop, Juan was, Shipley was the only black cop. Yeah, that's what Juan I'm Shipley was a cool ass motherfucker, bro. So that's that right He's there fair. is black privilege. Because I'll tell you what, whenever I hit my baby mom with my car, <laughs> <laughs> listen, <laughs> totally different. That is story. way out the motherfucking room, bro. The what? cops didn't Where see I it, hit though. My baby mom with they a didn't car. even give me a chance to talk. She just called, and I pulled <laughs> I up. I called too. I pull bruh, up and they're like this. They instantly, the word, six of them instantly put I'd me in handcuffs. Too, bruh. Well, I'm just saying. Allegedly, I hit her with my car. Allegedly, <laughs> this motherfucker <laughs> ran this bitch over it. No, I chased. I, I hit her car. Bop, bop, bop. She was in a car. I just chased her down and smacked her car. <laughs> this motherfucker is crazy. Well, women, we women was running, we was crazy, running red lights and shit, uh, stop signs. <laughs> She thought she was going to get away, boy, but I had that V8. Uh, <laughs> she had that little Honda CRV. I had that V8. I remember it. it was I no remember match. this night. Yeah, it was, hey. there was, it was no match for the kid. Hey. I'm going to tell you right now, she didn't. My shit went okay. fucking. Bearing. Are you done with that already? What? what, what, what you you know, only drank one? Oh, he's trash, yeah. too. Look at it. Well, he's I'm, fucked up. I'm six deep over here. Oh, tart. It's but you know what? Yeah, you're high as fuck. Yeah, I'm high too. It's Ricky's fault. Would you butt chug a beer? No, fuck you, nigga. Oh. He's just bad I'm, about that. You know Are what? you half black or something? Yeah, just say yeah. I'm Irish, Italian, and you. Just say black. So you got you got you to gotta be black. I got black you, family. I got black okay. family. You just got to say. You got a colored TV? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, actually, I don't even got a TV. I got a phone. That's what I watch. Say, Danny got a TV. Listen, you got to say, you got to say you're like. 10% black. That Bro. way you can... That way we, you can... All right, I'm 10% black. Now you can say the N-word. Yeah. Not Greg, good. now you got to be like, you're one of us. Yeah, bro. We already knew. That's why you've said... That. My brother, Black Rod, bro. That's why they call me White Rod. See what it is. So, where 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 are you from? Like, when, before you moved to Wayne Hills, where was you? You was up in Berg? Nah, shit. Florida, Texas, Georgia. Um... I've been all over, man. I ain't been to California. Wish I want to go. Anybody out there? Got some money. <laughs> I want to go. When did you leave the hills? Oh, shit. Did you leave the hills before me? Yeah. I don't remember. Uh, What year did you leave Wayne Hills? I, I, I didn't move out of Wayne Hills. It was like, I don't know, like 10. For real? Yeah. Because I moved, I moved from the bottom of the hill whenever I was in 2014. Uh, to the top of the hill. Where my daughter was like I don't know. Do you Honestly. miss it? Who, the hills? Yeah. He still be up there. I, I got in there every now and again. Yeah. I'll be seeing you on people's Uncle Tim, snaps. bro. Yeah. Uncle Tim. Oh, Timmy D's, yeah. Timmy D's. You be, you be up there. They, I can't listen. Y'all motherfuckers, they was up there whenever I was Timmy kids. D. And it's crazy how long these motherfuckers have survived. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm they telling you. Die. I've watched, yeah, these motherfuckers. Die. Will not die, <laughs> dude. I'm telling you, I've saw them do the same shit for 20 years, dog. 20 years. Look, and they was all already old. You know what I mean Timmy's old as shit, and dog they and they're still up there doing the same shit. You got fish, Tim, uh, White Rod, Chris, Chris is up there selling weed and shit. You know what I'm saying? He over some weed and shit. <laughs> I said it again. <laughs> Don't hey, put down on it. Leave that shit in. We, hey, we cleaned the streets up. Thank you. This is what no. we need. Who else you know up there that in Wayne Hills will be selling? Nobody. You can. <laughs> Wait a minute. I ain't dry <laughs> snitching. I ain't dry snitching. Just, You're full snitching, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Freaking Christmas is up in the hills. No. Lots. Which one was you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> Which one are you talking about? I don't know. But, yeah. <laughs> no, for what? Right. Which one was you talking about? Nah. But we got people Dude, living in the motherfucking... No, nah, honest to God. This is sad, bro. On God. Let's take another note. Like, we got motherfucking people living in the woods in the motherfucking... I heard about Jesse up there. Yeah. Jesse's living see, in the Jesse, woods? See, Jesse. See, you know. Yeah, Jesse. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, my, mom, my, mom, my, mom, my mom still lives up there. Huh? So, my mom. You know Vita. Yeah, that's my mom. So uh, I know I'm gonna have to take up Miss Frida and knock a nigga out. Oh, Frida, yeah, Frida. Miss Frida, Miss Vita, Miss Vita's a, a, a you know good Vita? God-fearing woman. Uh-uh. 
You don't know Vita? No. She lives right there. Vita probably just don't be coming out no more. Vita was out there. She's at my house all the time. Yeah, she would be up there like with Miss Beck just kicking in shit. Nah, Miss Beck, though, that's a beast. Yeah, I Miss Beck. I watched this little 17 year old girl come up, talk shit to her, like, I got you. Bye, 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 bye. Yeah, you look, bro, she said some racist shit, too. I ain't gonna put it out because we'd get blocked or some shit like that. But this little bitch, little 17 year old bitch, come up to a 50 year old woman and fucking thought she gonna do something. Miss Beck put her hands on her, bro, and it was over. <coughs> yeah, Miss Beck's always been a thug since I've been up there. Hell yeah, mm -hmm. Miss Beck didn't give no f You be killing, you be kicking it right there uh, in 1818, bro. Miss Beck and Vita just be sitting there. Yeah, I, I loved Vita. Vita, I still love Vita. Uh, Miss Frida, though. I can't believe you don't know Vita, though. I probably do, man. You, you, if you saw her, you'd probably know who she was. But, yeah, it's Gregory's mommy. But, like... His little mommy. He'd be still be sucking on her daddy, dude. Jesus Christ. Getting powder out of that mother... <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah. That shit like formula now. You're demented, I, bro. <laughs> bro, she's always at your house, bro, taking care of you, cooking for you. Every time I go there. Every time I go there, Vita says, How you doing, Ricky? I wish I had a relationship with my mom like you got with Vita, dude. Yeah, she's her, great. Hey. She's great mom, great uh, Nana. Nana. How is, how's your mom? She's good. This is my Uncle Pete downstairs. He's cleaning for me right now. How's Pops? He's good. That's he got cool. me the other night while I was drunk. While I was fucked up the other night, mm -hmm. he hit me up and said, Hey, bub, I'm trying to buy a gun. Can I borrow some money? Me being drunk as fuck. I was like, yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Gave me my last bit of money. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> Been down smoking every since. I ain't ate in two days, bro. Are you serious? Yeah, well, you got you gonna buy me something? Yeah, I got a tech go to my house, bro. He's, you still owe him you. ten bucks, bro. And you gonna let me slide? Yeah, you still owe me ten bucks. I'm broke. I just heard me. You gonna let me slide? Yeah, I got you. <laughs> That's family, bro. What do y'all? What do y'all be up there eating and shit? You, I saw you last night. You was asleep and shit, and he was putting his wang on you while you was asleep. That was fucking sick. What the fuck are you talking? What's about? happening, bro? No, I didn't, and that's fucking crazy. Y'all live together? I heard no. that fucking Ricky likes to fucking like try to tuck it to the back. I don't Just try. Saying. He said he don't try. Uh, yeah, I do that little shit. Who don't? Who don't <laughs> yeah, if you're buddy. sleeping, who don't tuck it to the back? You don't tuck it to the back. You just leave it out when you're sleeping. Nah, I tuck it to the back whenever oh, I you, sleep. All right, what? that works. Hey, it works. Whatever works. You don't tuck your shit. <laughs> tuck it where? <laughs> Just like in the back. Look back, pull it back. Nah, it's just, it's Tickling from the back, you never do that? No, what are you talking about? Everybody's different. Everybody's different. Everybody's Everybody different. Everybody is thing. different. Everybody I just be living my own life, dude. I don't... I don't do I don't a little go, strange? Yeah, I don't, change. I don't go by what other people what other people do. That's right. We do not do that in this house. So, what's up with you, though? Like, why was you passed out like that? I never saw you passed yeah, out. Yeah, why was you passed out, bro? Dude, I don't know. Come over here. You know, one time I come out. Uh, one time I come out of the uh, uh, bedroom. Out of the whole house. And I come out here. You was at the fucking gas station. What kind of weird bathroom. shit was? Bathroom. What kind no? of weird shit was you, you doing? at the gas station bathroom. What yeah. Talking about. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, that look, bro. That fucking look. What the fuck is he talking about? Ain't no regular weed, bro. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yo, y'all got in that dope, dude. <laughs> Listen, but uh, anyway. what I was going to say, though, is I come out of the bathroom. Not the bathroom. See, you got me fucked up now. I come out <laughs> the bedroom. That's what I do, baby. I come out the bedroom one night. And, What's wrong uh, with Penny? I come out there, and Buddy is getting held. Some girl is holding him like a baby. What are you crying? Bro, no. he His knees was on his chest. <laughs> Thumb was in baby his mouth. Jesus. And she Baby was petting Jesus. him like a fucking dog. Hey, that sounds like good treatment. Oh, bro. Hey, who is she? You know what? It's hey, his cousin. And I was, was all like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I literally, I was all like, bro, I was all like, why couldn't I get this? You know right. I, mean? like, I want that right now. I mean, can you get, can you get your cousin's number? <laughs> no, he loves her. Oh, it's like that. How do Man. I block you in real life? I like that shirt. That's Come here real quick. Really Come here. Stand up for the camera. I want the camera to see you. Do like a full spin. Do a full spin real quick. I'll be fucking that. <laughs> yeah. Some He's fucking night. that later. Uh, Some nights, yeah, I'll be fucking that. <laughs> He's that He's booty. a handsome young man. Yeah. I love him. That's daddy's <laughs> little semen demon right there. It's my little cum dumpster. You ever you ever slide up in that, Rob? Be honest. No, not yet. Nah. <laughs> you gonna get it first? 
You uh, get it first? I already had it. You already had it? Here. Oh, Poor shit. guy. Oh, shit. Poor guy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm on fire. Karma, yeah, it is. This That's thing instant is karma. On fire, right? I'm not getting our deposit back. <laughs> uh, what was about this? Oh, here. Smell those real quick. No, f you. No, for real. Even <laughs> he says. <laughs> God. But like for real though, Rob, what's up, man? Like, fuck, I'm good, bro. Living the best dream. I got a bitch that's crazy, and um, you got kids. Fucking, they're awesome though. And they you, really are. My kids are fucking. They keep me sane. Oh, uh, uh, are you sane? No, nah, I'm not gonna say I'm sane, sane, but like fucking sane enough. Do yeah. they ever look at you and be like, Dad, quit drinking? Yeah, hell yeah. And what do you say? Fuck y'all. Yep. That. You are you just drinking though and we just huh well, i just drank to get the fuck away from you just drink and smoke no, he's saying like you don't do drugs right nah hell nah i ain't nah. have you ever tried any yeah oh yeah bro i bro you don't even know i want to know you want to know yeah i i what's that pstd shit ps uh but fucking PTSD. pcp yeah i got oh, that PCP. i got that you got ptsd oh ptsd drugs? no um, well, kind of, if you want the truth. Like, I was hanging out with, remember, do you remember Kent? Mm -hmm. you think, yeah, okay, so, me and Kent was doing fentanyl, and, um, like, dude, it got so bad, I was doing a grandma self. That shit, it kills somebody. It kills an elephant. Yeah, that's doing, what I've always heard, is that the tiny little bit can kill you. Yeah, I, I was doing a gram of it. I don't even know how that's possible, but... No, you, know, you can build up a, to a tolerance, so mothers, they be doing that little shit. Yeah, you start off small and go big. So... I mean? So I fucking... Um, I was real good. Like, I had to drive this bitch home. And then I had to drive back down, get Kent, get her dope. And I fucking... Did the dope there. I'm driving home. He's like, oh, I need weed. I'm like, no, fuck that. Okay, I'm high at that point. This bitch was already high, bro, when I had to go down there. She fucking had the gas tank, bro, just standing the fuck up like this, bro, sleep. Standing up with her shit, sleep. And I don't even know how it's possible, but it's the truth. You can't make this shit up. And I fucking get her back, get in my car, fucking go back, and fucking get Kent. And he's like, I need weed. I'm like, no, fuck that. Because I'm high by then. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I fucking... 35 miles an hour, bro. Because I actually said I'd go get him this weed. 35 miles an hour, bro. Honestly. 35. Boom. Head on. Collision. There's two babies in that car. Two babies. How much trouble did you get into? Nothing. Was everybody all right? Yeah. Is that when you quit doing drugs? Yep. That's when I stopped feeling that. I just drank. That's it. Maybe smoke. How long ago was that? Shit. It's been like probably five years ago. Well, that's kind of like, um, I mean, a lot of people uh, it took that fall to victim make, to drugs. It's sad. It took that to make me stop. But at least that's, that was enough for you. You was like, all right. Yeah. Was, some motherfuckers would have just left and got high again. Yeah, no. so at least that was enough for you to be like, all right, f that. I'm, I bet I still have nightmares about it. I still oh, do yeah. have nightmares about hitting her head on. Bro, yeah, so whenever I wrecked my Tahoe, I was drinking and driving, and uh, I fucking, uh, I hit a guy was good all the a time. A pole. Was it a pole or a light pole? It was light, a light pole. Yeah, I, mean, I hit one of those wooden poles, the big-ass wooden poles. I hit that motherfucker, bro, and um, I've never been scared to drive. And I remember I was driving... Uh, the rental after I wrecked and I was uh, on the west side bro and it was my first time ever like having something like that happen to me I was driving on the west side and it was nighttime and I saw the road was a little wet and I saw yeah. like a shadow and I slammed on the brakes it just scared me so bad bro whenever I saw the shadow I thought I was wrecking again and what was crazy Shit though happens, I don't even man. remember the wreck that I got into do you know what I mean like I remember I was driving and I don't know if I I don't know I told but I really is, dream about that <clears> shit no, you can't say this that, day I uh, anyways, see you probably shouldn't have said the port you already said, but they ain't, it's Portsmouth, we're good. Yeah. Well, anyways, though, um, in my head, what I remember was like I thought I dropped my phone or something, 
and I thought I re reached down to grab it. Like, but I think what happened was I wrecked, and then whenever I wrecked, Damn, I woke up and I grabbed my phone. My phone was the first thing I grabbed. I broke the steering wheel with my forehead. I've been mine over completely. Yeah. The airbag hit it me, bro. I, my shit was fucked up, wasn't it? Yeah. I called yeah, he called me at like 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, what do you mean you're over here? And uh, I wasn't about to come. And you was like, bro, I'm right here. Like, you ain't about to come over here? So I was like, fuck. I thought Sorry. I was going to jail for sure, bro. I was so fucked up. Climb out of bed. Walk they, over you there. Didn't go to jail? And then, no, hell no. I didn't either. They let they didn't they did surprise this is what I'm talking about. I'm, I took no matter a piss how test. Up, that's how I did. I took a piss test. No matter how I fucked did. up I am, bro, I can just I'm always good. I was so fucked up. They I passed all the sobriety tests well, and everything. So the other cop was over talking to me. Me and Cheyenne were in the other uh, car. And I'm looking at the cop and I'm like, I see you doing a field sobriety test. I'm like, hey, did y'all tell him he doesn't have to do a field sobriety test? Oh, so you on your law shit. Oh, I know my laws. So uh, I'm so I'm like, hey Ricky, don't do the field sobriety test. Like, I tell the cop, I'm like, go tell him he doesn't have to do it. Yeah, so I'm thinking you you, did, nobody passes a field sobriety test. But like, you could be sober and fail one. Yeah. So I'm thinking they're just trying to wreck him. You know what I mean? So I'm like, no, nah, we're just not. He, he don't need to do a field sobriety test. So you helped to that. Well, no, I still I took him. But he did part of it. But then you <laughs> decided you halfway did. through it, like well, I'm they, not doing it. They told me to stand on like one leg. I I, I did the ones with the eyes. They was like follow the thing. And Don't I was your head. And, I'm, and I just, bro, I when I wrecked, it knocked, I was knocked out for like 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? So I was for sure concussed. So, uh, like I said, like, whenever I realized that, like, I realized, that, hey, I can't, I probably can't pass these tests, was because yes, whatever they was moving, five. whatever they was moving in front of my eyes, I don't even remember what it was. Whatever they was moving, Little flash I remember. Light. You uh, remember me yelling, like, hey, Ricky, don't do the Barely, first. yeah, because you were sitting, like, right over here. I was right there on the sidewalk. Yeah. But I remember I was all, like, they was doing that little thing, and I remember I was so drunk, like, my eyes, like, quit working, so I started moving my head with it. <laughs> yeah. And then they was all, like, stand on one leg, and I was like, oh, bro, I got a bad knee. I just got fucked up in a car wreck. Mm -hmm. Like, y'all like y'all got to let me so chill. You know what I mean? Like, y'all yeah. got to let me chill. And I, I remember Greg said some shit, and I went over there. And it was like, it was like, well, you're good. You, it was like, you passed that test anyways. So and that was the same. Anyways. That was the same cop that was at the bar that I was talking to. I left there, went up to uh, Kevin's, bro. Got even drunker. Yeah. Got even drunker, bro. I was up there drinking whiskey. Yeah, he said, like, I just saw you at the bar, Ricky. Yeah, I told him. I he said, knew. They knew, but yeah. they was cool about it. And maybe we should not it, not admit to any more crimes on this podcast. Exactly. <laughs> but, yeah. No shit, though. No, I got a. I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> Fuck. I'm gonna put it out. I don't want I fucking motherfucker out my chili. Oh, no, 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 hold on. They'll come get you for that. I don't give a fuck. Oh. Nigga, be hurry on God. He wants away from Penny. It's for what? Come what? Pick him for up. an open container. For an open container. I got a warrant for an open container. What the fuck y'all gonna do? Come get me. Where's my body gonna be like <coughs> 250? 10% of that's going to be like something. Who's going to bond you out? Shit. I, my pops, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't know. But, like, y'all can get me. That's on some bullshit. But, like, how you going to pull somebody over? That does, nah, for real. Nah, this is God's honest truth. Wait, was you drinking and driving? No. I wasn't even driving. Oh, okay. And the motherfucker was driving got an OVI. Mm -hmm. I, right? Because he was driving D's car. D was in the uh, front passenger seat. Dude was driving. I was in the back. I took their beers. Yeah, and took them beers. And I dumped them out in the back seats. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I tucked them up underneath the seat. And fucking whatever. Y'all want to come get me. You know, They got all the, all the details they need to know now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I'm going to tell them anyways. Well, I, listen. You're going to tell? You're going to tell? You just got to say, like I did with Canada. All this shit's a lie. But I didn't have an open container. Yeah. I was the only person that didn't have an open container in that car. And you got a warrant for them. Yeah. And shit, I tell on them. Fuck it. Let's tell on them. Yeah. Who was it? <laughs> name both right now. <laughs> I don't even know who the driver was. All right, tell D'Angelo. Tell D's name. Nah, I ain't going to diss him on the rest of my people. I mean, but, but dude, I say we just start snitching. This shit's kind of fun. It's adrenaline rush. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Like, bro, like, it's already Everybody happening. getting told on. It's happened a few times this pod, bro. I'm just... I'm into this little shit now. This shit's cool. We snitching. I mean, why not, though, right? We're civilians. I'm all not do, right. All you do is drink. I podcast. And I kick it. You've done. You went to 
criminal justice classes. So I did. You can definitely That's tell. Why I'm careful about what He's I'm talking about. He's going to be my lawyer. Who? Him. Mm, you don't want me as a lawyer, buddy. <laughs> Greg up there and get you more time, dude. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be like triple time, triple it. Yeah. <laughs> People always bring him up. Yeah, bro. I guess he's a bad, I guess he's a bad lawyer, he is bro. He's a bad lawyer, was, bro. They say every time you go in there, bro, it'd be something little. They say you go in there for jaywalking. They got bro, triple go, it. I'd be like, no, months. fired. Fired. Yeah, they say, they say well, bro, you, you go in for jaywalking, fuck, you get six months. I mean, if you're a, a small time lawyer in Portsmouth, Ohio, and you have a nickname like that, yeah. that's triple time? probably not yeah. good. Yeah. You get him. They'd yeah. be like, you got triple it, not. Fire my lawyer. Give me a PD. Don't give a fuck. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, I got, fuck it. I got uh, exactly right. Christina Scott, bro. That's Hey, she's not bad. Yeah, she she was my lawyer. She got the kid off. She's not with that bad. Little, with that little hit and run they try to get the kid with. Would you kill somebody? No, no, no. It was whenever uh whenever I hit my baby mom in my car. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, your baby mom with a car. <laughs> <laughs> Disney, hey, bro. Oh God, bro. I'm done. It's not. I'm weak. Listen, but look. Got, <laughs> at first, what this? Can you imagine her going like hair flying and all that shit? <laughs> well, listen. They said. <laughs> oh, he just bumped her bullshit. He ran her ass over, bro. No, I, no, I, oh God, this motherfucker will kill you with a car. They tried to hit me with attempted vehicular manslaughter at first. That was what See, they, vehicular that's what they, manslaughter. That's what they said they were trying to get me with. And oh, I was all like, Jesus. I was like, help. Bro, I, like, all I did was hit her car a little bit. You, you know ain't mean? even safe on the sidewalks. <laughs> 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 nah, uh, she, nah, she was in a car, bro. I just chased oh, her down. Oh, she's in a car now. Yeah, she was. She was in a oh, car and I was. chased her down and hit her. But uh, Which is still, like, not legal. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. Because, don't yeah. do that. Yeah. But they end up uh, dropping it to a DV uh, because uh, he got lucky. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's a DV. <laughs> that's not a DV. Well, talking, yeah, that, that's <laughs> you know what you know what. Shout out, <laughs> shout out, Portsmouth uh, criminal justice system. Yeah, yeah, you're awesome. Yeah, they hit. They all they charged me with I was a DV. I killed somebody, get off a murder, but back hit somebody, bro. I did some time. You know about the pod we did with um, the dude that got off a murder, Nathan Stiltner. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's my homeboy, bro. Did you see the pod we did with him? Yeah, he's he got, in uh, Lucasville, right? No, no, he's out. He got out. Nathan's out. He yeah, got out. Bro, I raised that boy. Oh yeah. God, I really did. Yeah, Nate's out now. Uh, uh, Annie uh, Stiltner, like Nathan, Donnie Stiltner, all of them. Yeah. I know them all, bro. I raised those two boys, bro. I'm yeah. sorry, he shot and killed. Fucking, uh, is that my fucking? This is crazy, bro. This is so random. Like, uh, it was at my brother and sister's house, bro, where he shot dude. And he didn't even get back in his truck, bro. He just took off walking. Yeah, he left my house. He came to my house and uh, uh, asked me for bullets. I didn't have none. And then he was like, I cleaned my gun. And I was like, yeah, you clean your gun. He cleaned the gun. And then one of my brother and sisters. I, w- I went to sleep and woke up. And, yeah, he went down there and shot and killed, bro. Duck Daxton. Yeah. So he shot and killed. I think that was the name. Doug. Yep. He said Doug. Doug. Daxton. But um, not like he got off. Well, he didn't get off. He spent like he six got years in prison. To life, yeah, he bro. got he got out though on technicality. He's out. They beat his ass, bro. Hey, Nathan, if you ever get to see this podcast, bro, I love you, brother. On God, because I'm telling you right now, what you did was on God. Because they beat that boy's ass. My family did. They beat his ass, bro. Told him they promised him money. And paying him back, and then they promised they want to buy some other shit off of him. And he went down there on that. You know what I mean? I'm getting paid back plus making more money. And fucking, they beat his fucking ass, and he wasn't having it. I went down there that day, bro. When they took Doug Taxon's body out, bro, they had the white sheet over his face and everything, bro. It was fucking crazy. That's the hills for you, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah. It's the hills yeah. for you, bro. Everybody think the hills is a joke, bro. Hills ain't no joke. Motherfuckers be ODing, drowning their babies, fucking acting stupid, all kinds of dumb shit, man. There's been a lot of wild shit up there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of wild shit. It used to be lit when I was a kid. I loved that little yeah, shit. Yeah, it was fun when we was like... Yeah, now that I'm old, I want to like... I used to always be like... But it's weird, though, because now that I'm getting older, now I'm all like... My whole my whole life's changed. Like I used to listen to rap music. I listen to rap really, 
I listen to country music. I love I like country the, music. I like to Me chill. Me too, bro. Yeah, like, bro, like, I used to be like, bro, I don't want to live Morgan in the country. Morgan Wallen, bro, is now, one of my favorites. Yeah, now I want to live in the country. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, my Shoot guns. Get old and you just want fish. peace. Yeah. You want peace, you don't want all the drama and bullshit. Exactly. Yeah. Crazy shit. Exactly, man. So, yeah, bro's shout out, shout out Nathan, bro. Uh, bro's KD is crazy right now. Um, hey, shout out Nathan. I ain't know who he is, but shout out. Nathan Stiltner. Oh, Nathan, baby. Love you, book dope. Yeah, but anyways, did y'all not get the KD? Yeah, yeah. I heard you. I laughed. Uh, <laughs> you know what KD is? Kill uh-huh. death ratio? That was just, a good one. I just didn't want to. You know what I mean? Because that dude's got a family. And that's just... Oh, yeah. Shout out. Shout out to them. But, I mean, you can't just. Yeah, shit. shout out to Doug Taxon's family, too, man. Yeah. I mean, that was their business. What happened between them is what happened between them. Yeah. That's why I'll leave it. Settle it. Yeah, Nathan. Like I said, Nathan's family, though, so. Yeah, Nathan's family and me. Yeah. I uh, raised them boys, bro. Can I ask you a serious question though? Like, because we're about to have to end the pod. All right. Um, I'm going to get deep into it real quick. Um, do you, you do you consider me like your boy and shit? Man, you're my motherfucking family, bro. You like me for real? Love you. Suck my dick then. Nope. <laughs> I but I will have Tay do it. Hey, bro. <laughs> I, I'll put you on. His beer be tickling me and shit. I know, but it might feel good. Hey, we come up and do one more spin real quick for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Not right up. there. For real, though, thank you for coming on, bro. I had a good time with you. Hey, yeah. man, I had fun talking to you. It's good to man. see you, bro. Hey, look, I want to say one thing to everybody out there. Hey, God bless you, your family, your mothers, your sisters, your family, like, period, bro. Your cousins, your aunts, your uncles, your kids, your dogs, all that shit. Birds. I love you, birds, too. Ricky said birds, so I got but cats. Even though I don't like cats, and I got two of them. But I love everybody out there, man, and God bless, and I hope your family stays safe. I'm out. Yeah. Right. I, I'm glad you came on, bro. I haven't seen you in like 20 years, but it was I thought you died. And I'm Shit. glad to see you're still Damn, here. Damn, it's like that? <laughs> <laughs> I died? I, 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 I ain't heard of, I, I, I mean, I ain't heard of White Rob in a while. The legend man. of White Rob. And it, it's like the Joe Dart story. It's a saga. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. You like that little shit? You like living like this, though, for real? I'm just Joe Dirt. Yeah. I feel it, bro. Life Listen, is a garden. You got to dig it. I, I commend people that can, like, is that what you say? I, I commend them? Yeah. I, 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 that people that, like, can find peace and just be okay with life. I wish I could do that because I'm not one of those people, dude. I sit around, like, yesterday. I sat around all day yesterday. I was like, bro, I'm the biggest piece of shit to ever walk this earth. No, you ain't. I mean, I know I'm not, but I mean, that, like, I yesterday. I could tell the way you I, a thousand good things about you. Yeah, but I mean, but I was saying that's how I feel. Like, I, I make myself feel like if I'm not doing something incredible at that time that I mean nothing. You don't have to do anything incredible. Incredible things happen when you least expect it. I know, bro. I know. Damn, White Rob. Mm-hmm. That was like a fucking bar, bro. That was nice. We're going to end it on that. Because when you just initially said, you don't have to do anything incredible, I just thought he was like, oh, you just do whatever and and life's cool. But then you ended it with uh, incredible things happen when you least expect it. And that was a bar. That was flat. That was was flat out right there. Yeah. That's real shit. Anyways, thank you for coming on, bro. Much love. I love you. Uh, Like, share, subscribe. I love you guys. Check out his OnlyFans, uh, White Rob. (laughs) I'll be back. White Rob the Killer. I ain't 62. But anyways, though, yeah, uh, thank you for coming on, bro. Yeah, I love y'all.